Good morning, ladies. I hope everybody is having an awesome weekend and doing well. Um, I'm sorry about the start time. I thought I said it for 11 a.m. Oh, well. um, oh that you can hear the the. We got the eternal echo. Sorry. Yeah. Oh no, you're fine. It we have showed up on my here. <laughs> Hey there, Juana. Hey, Paula. Hi, Juana. Paula. But but yes, I'm sorry about the um the wrong time. So uh, yeah, we're starting. You know, I never 11. even noticed. Hey, yeah. Kim. There you are. Yeah. Hi Kim. You made Hi, it Juana, to Paula. It's so good to see everybody. Um, I'm so excited to do this and I wanted to let you guys know. Um, I did, I was able to make a little mini kit for some of the ladies who missed out on the main um paper doll inspiration bundle kit. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. Um. Well, hi, sweetie. I'm so glad you can make it, Kim. We we're starting an email list, so we're excited to um get that going. I haven't given all my emails to Miss Coco yet, but yeah, it should be fun, and um, hopefully, it can be a good way to send out reminders. Uh, but and. Yeah. And on that note, um, an email went out to many of you. Please check your spam um, or your junk folder to make sure you get it. What we're trying to do is just collect names of those who would like to opt in on an email list so you'll get notified. We were thinking maybe three times a month at the most. One would be if Sierra has a pop-up, which she's going to talk about, trying to schedule a little farther out. And then she'll do these craft and chats, which is where you'll get to see her genius in the creative process. And all of those are free. And those videos will stay posted. And then a third notification is, I already forgot. We're going to do like oh, a, free, a free show sale. and share. Yeah, she does a, a show and tell of uh, a kit. And why this is very useful to her is to get an idea but she doesn't know if it's something she needs to invest in and purchasing the supplies, which of course, everybody knows supply chain issues can be a problem. So she needs that time to gather content. And that's why it's so nice to get a head count, but she's been super surprised at the interest these kids are generating. So I'll let Sierra take her from here. She's got ideas. Hey, oh, Jean, Marianne. I just want to say hi to Juana, Miss Jean, and um, Charmaine, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And Juana said YouTube said 7 p.m., but then Coco sent my invoice, and luckily she mentioned the sale at 2 p.m. Huh? I I wonder why it said 7 p.m. That's weird. I don't I don't know. Because well, um, but yeah, we're on right now. But yes, so, I do have a mini, um, sorry, go ahead, Coco. I was going to say, do you want me to go ahead and start sharing their links or just, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we I'll, you. I'll give you a minute. Cause what you have to say, I don't want anybody to miss. Right. Oh no, it's nothing important or anything. I was just hey, going to, okay, well I'll start putting people's links. Yeah. Cause I have, um, like I'm on Pacific Standard Time, Coco's on Eastern, so I mean everybody's all over, right? So I don't know exactly what time, but yeah, it it I did set it for accidentally 20 minutes later than I meant to because we normally always go on about 10 30, 11 ish, and on Sundays if if we can, you know, if um, I'm not working or one of us isn't sick or whatever, you know, it's always unfortunately, you know going to be a pop-up because we aren't able to schedule out super far but um oh thank you but I'm super excited uh to share with you guys um the process of making these dresses and I know I had a lot of uh disappointment with um that I didn't make enough kits 
for the big inspiration kit that we're going to be working with today. But so I made this little mini kit. Um, just in, in all that's in the mini kit is just the products to make the one dress like this exact dress. So it's just something super mini. But uh, oh, it's something just a mini little kit inspiration kit, but it comes with the um, template, which is nice. So yeah, so I'll show that in a second, but we're just, you know, sharing everybody's channels right now. And um, if you have any um, thing you want to share, if, if you have any sales or anything, we can show it at the very end. If you don't mind, um, you can always send Miss Coco a, a link through uh, Messenger. And so she can share that at the end of the sale. Like if you have any sales going on or anything going, you know, happening that you want to share. Um, but yeah, we just want to share each other's channels and make sure you guys subscribe to one another and show the love. <coughs> oh, yes, Paula. She's got a, um, a mini kit to sell today. And sorry, you guys, if I miss anything in chat, I'm going back and forth gathering links. So throw up a stop sign if you need to flag me. If I see red, I'll stop and answer. <laughs> but we do appreciate the assist. Anybody who wants to um, catch my attention, we're not offended. Oh, no, you have a lot to offer, Miss um, Kim. Uh, you know, and maybe one day you'll end up crafting on your channel and then you'll have uh, subscribers already. So it's a good thing to get subscribers on your channel. Even if you don't make videos yet, you might make them in the future. So that's awesome. So yeah, just subscribe to one another and show love. I know Miss Dawn just had a sale and oh, she had so many gorgeous things, but every single time I went to a video, every single thing I wanted was already gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, boo hoo, dang it. <laughs> but she, oh, what I really loved was some of the junk jewelry that she showed. Or It wasn't really junk jewelry. It was like vintage jewelry and there were some of these super cute pearl cluster earrings and oh, I wanted them so bad it's such an amazing price I love vintage jewelry especially any kind of pearl jewelry I just love it um but yeah they were gone <laughs> and we have Susan Schultes in the house this I gotta get her name this is Susan's channel. Sorry, I didn't get her name in there. It it put it on the chat before I could fix it. Good to see you again, Susan. And uh, Jean, how's it going with your um your thrifty finds? Are you getting ready to make any sort of um, videos soon? Or I'm excited for your new endeavors. Yes, pearls are amazing, right? And Jean has a new. Um, channel change, a name change. So it oh, speaks what she's going to do. Take us on little thrifty tours. Well, if you have a YouTube, you have a channel, but you don't have to be necessarily active on your channel um, for people to subscribe to it. So we're just subscribing to one another. and Yeah, and there's no pressure to subscribe, but we encourage it. You know, it's kind of fun to get to know what the others are doing or selling or, you know, maybe they have a specialty um, area. Yeah. Like one gal on here last week was fairies and what else did she do? And mermaids yep. and Princess? fairies and mermaids and just pixies and that's Zandra. She goes live every Sunday. She wasn't able to make it today. Um, because she's gonna be going live. We go live about the same time um when we do go live. So that's a bummer, but it is fine to always watch the replay, right? And yeah. um sorry, Susan, I saw your your 
question. So you said, ask if this is the same kit. So this is not the same kit as the last, like the last paper doll dress kit I made was back in, I believe, March of 2022. And I'm, I'm, it was either February or March. It was around then. And this is not the same exact kit, but there is some alike items. Um, I always make new uh, templates for my dress forms, but I'm trying to keep the same one because uh, people are now, you know, using it more. So it is different, um, but all these inspiration kits for the dresses are sold out. This is just a kit I'm working with today. Um, and also, ladies, I pretty much have everything together. I'm just, I just like to make sure my packaging is nice and um, everything is put together and weighed out. So everything will, you know, so when I do bill, um, you know, I don't make mistakes on anything. So I just, I'm almost done with everybody's in, you know, everybody's packages and invoices. So uh, that is. Sometimes it can take me up to two weeks, but I'm going to try to get everybody invoiced this uh, evening. Um, I was trying to do it last night, but I didn't get it done. But I'm going to get it done um, in the next, hopefully this evening, if not tomorrow. But I'm working on it. And um, so you should be invoiced for last week sale in the next 24 hours. So... Um, yeah, so that's <laughs> that. And then we're going to be, um, I'm going to show you the mini kit. And then I also want to show you some of the amazing papers that I got from Coco because I love to use those with my dress forms. Uh, they just work so nicely. Um, and the paper is, it just looks so vintage and it's just like, it just works great. So I wanted to show you guys some of those Thank papers. You, um, oh, you're welcome. This will be fun. <laughs> yeah. So, and then we're going to work on, um, and then we're going to work on the Your paper dolls, the paper dolls. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to fill in any blanks when you're having a word reach? <laughs> oh, yes. Always, okay. always. Never All right. Know. I might get creative. No. That about that. <laughs> Did you see I accidentally posted wrong on uh, Jean is starting to add content to her channel, y'all. Oh. So I found a playlist and I put that in there so you guys could bookmark it. But I wrote playlist. But I oh. suppose that's <laughs> apropos if we're lusting after what she's showing in those <laughs> videos. <laughs> well, I know I'm going to lust after her amazing finds because I did yeah. catch a little bit of her selling on, um, oh, she yeah? was on, uh, Patty? Selling Patty Hill? Lang? Yes, on Patty Lang's channel. Awesome. She's selling on Patty Lang's channel. I didn't catch it live, but I caught the replay and, oh, she finds so many amazing beautiful beautiful books and just pieces she actually had this really gorgeous kit she made um it had like a book cover and had some coffee dyed paper in it you know like stuff to make a junk journal but she also had some laces and she had this absolutely stunning gorgeous ribbon in there oh my gosh oh, yeah. it was just to die for and it I was like that. a vintage it's ribbon. Like eight, Julie. Um. You have a question from Don Marie. Okay. It is, <laughs> it of us that Excuse didn't me. get the original dress from Kit. Yes, exactly. I'm going to give first dibs to the ladies who did not get the original kit. Um, and I have the list. It was Don, Don Marie, uh, Deanna, Paula. Elizabeth and I believe him. Oh yes, anytime, dear. Okay, love you, honey. And 
So I own, I have 10 small kits, 10 small kits available. And I'm going to, I'll show those real quick. Okay. And then we'll keep moving forward or we're going to be here all night. Right. Okay. So the small kit is, I'm just going to show you this first. It's to make this exact dress for, or this exact dress. Um, that's what's included in the kit. The only thing different in a couple of kits is I did swap out because I didn't have 10 of these appliques. I only had six. So a couple of the kits are going to have this applique, but you can do the same exact thing with it. Um, it kind of is like shaped similar. So, but yeah, it's, so it's to make this dress. It's going to come with the doily. It's going to come with this lace, because these are all different layers, and then it's going to come with this half of this. This is a half of a doily, and then it's going to come with this doily up here, and then oh, there's so also pretty. pieces of that doily down here wow. and right here, and then pieces of the applicator tucked in right here and right here that are cut off of it. So that's amazing. To make this Sarah. exact dress, and then you also have the templates to make the dresses okay and then so some of them then will have this applique and then some of them will have this other the applique comes like this the other one comes like this and it's in here like that and then you just cut it out and this applique actually comes in the big kit too which I'm going to show you how to use that so and then you can cut out these other little swirls and tuck them in like we did with the leaves down here so wow. it's just a one dress kit that's it um it's very simple you can only make the one dress with it it's uh, a mini kit but yeah i just put the things to make the one dress so so sierra they can watch this video as a reference that picture you're holding up right now with the template the dress they can yeah. reference that picture on how to construct with the kit you have already built right well it actually comes with the picture of the dress oh that one kit. yeah awesome. this dress. well so, let me shut my mouth <laughs> oh no you're fine so so this is what the mini kit looks like and i just would try to put it together real quick um and make it just it's just a small little thing and what it has is it has this applique and then and I'll show you how I cut out this stuff when we go to make the dresses but so you get either this applique or that big long one like this sorry like that and I'll show you both ways and how it fits on the dress but so you get that applique and then you get the doily and then everything also is pinned down to the file folder. And then you get the half of the doily. Oops. There's little strings everywhere. The half doily and then you get the um, eyelet fabric as well as the lace. And it's already pre-cut for you. So it's the right lengths and will work well and like on this eyelet fabric we just cut off the top where it's gathered so to take away the bulk but I'll show all that and it also comes with this half a sheet of this beautiful dictionary paper and this is going to be what we tear and make the underskirt out of then the doily um, and this is what we fold up again to make part of the underskirt out of and then it also comes with the file folder, which you can use to, <coughs> bless you, to. I'm sorry, um, you guys. Oh, no, you're fine. Don't how worry about loud it. my cough is, even if I turn away. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry about it at all. And um, so you get the picture of the dress. And there is this line here. I couldn't avoid it. I tried. Yeah, I it was frustrating, <laughs> but so there is this line here, but I don't think you can really hardly it see it if you're just looking at the cool. whole thing. 
But this is the wow. scanned copy of the dress, and you can, you know, fussy cut it if you want to, and you can glue it down to this um, file folder, and then you can make a, you know, put a, like we've talked about putting the um, paper clips on the back. You can do a, whatever you want to do with this, but this is just a reference of what the dress will turn out like. And then you also get the um, pattern. So that's what's in the mini kit. Okay, so it's just to make the one dress. And it's $15. And I was going to give first dibs to the ladies who missed out on the large kit. So I did write down your names. And if you're not interested, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's just a little something I put together real quick. Um, well, not real quick, but got together for you guys. Um, if you did miss out on it, just so you had an option. So, so the before people... I put that in, yeah. um, we had a couple folks that wanted to know if they were on the list and they didn't hear the name. So Debbie Ham was one. And then um, Penny Pudge didn't hear her name. Okay. And... So um, Penny Pudge and Debbie Ham, they already got the large kit. They're already, oh, they okay. they're already purchasing the the large inspiration kit that I have right here. I haven't billed you for it yet, but you guys um, got that kit when you, uh, you know, at the last sale. I just haven't billed for those yet. But so I, mean, I mean, go ahead. If you want the small in. kit too, that's fine. But I'm just giving first dibs to the ladies who didn't get the larger kit. So, okay, so um, how many of these do you have available? So I have 10 available. And the people that I have for first dibs is Dawn, Dawn Marie, Deanna, Paula, Elizabeth, and Kim. Okay. Now, does that mean they already are covered and you have 10 left, 10 kids left, or you only have five kids? Oh, left? no. I only have 10 altogether, and it just depends if they want one. Then we'll take okay. their names first. So okay. if you want one, put me in those one, two, three, four, five ladies. If they put me in there, then they'll be first on the list to get them, and then we'll go whoever else. And the reason okay, I'm so doing it this way is because they had wanted the original kit and yeah. I wasn't able to make any more of the large inspiration kit. So that's why I'm offering them this. And she's been kit. working around the clock to pull together something just because so many people were disappointed. So before I put this in, get everybody just refresh, take a deep breath, and only five might be available. So first thing okay, first. Hold on a second. Let me answer some questions real quick. I'll, I'll wait till you answer Diane. Okay. Who wants to know if she got a kit? So um, Kim, yes. no, you did not get the large kit. Um, It was already sold out, so I put you on the list for one of the small mini kits if you want it, but if you don't, that's fine. And then Diane, I didn't... I didn't have you on my list. I, this isn't one of the pre-order lists or anything like that. This is just if you had wanted this kit and I ran out, then um, these are the people that I had this run is out. This the best you can do to help you get started because <coughs> she's limited on the supplies she can offer at this point because these kits depleted her stash and she's going to have to reorder and all of that. But she also was pleasantly shocked, good problem to have, that there was so much interest. So she was not prepared to fulfill more than 15 kits. So this is a big stretch. She tried to do 10 more mini kits, five of which some likely might be taken, right, Sierra? If they put their names in and want it. Okay. But they just right, have to put so, a me. So, um, all right. So should I go ahead and post it and just yeah, see what happens? So so um, Coco's going to put the kit in, and if you want it, just put in me. And if you are one of the five ladies, the Dawn, Deanna, Paula, 
Elizabeth or Kim, then they get first dibs, then we'll go down the list. And I'm going to put in J Mac. Welcome, J Mac. Are you new to Sierra's channel? Hi, J Mac. I'm going to put in J Mac's channel. Um, and sorry if I've missed anybody uh, saying hello. So, um, but yes, if you want us to for sure put in your channel um or share you anything just let me just give us a give us a holler and let us know all right so you ready um yes i'm ready we let have me, um, uniquely dawn okay go ahead uniquely dawn okay dawn marie kim stevenson Thank him. J Mac. Paula Fowler. Paula. Thank you. Small one to Debbie Ham. Thank you, Debbie. And Diane. Oh seven. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Cindy Brown. Good to see you. I'm gonna okay. grab your channel, Cindy. So I have uh, four four left available. Then Cindy Brown. Oh, you're so sweet. Cindy Brown, okay. Thank you, Cindy. Yep, you made the under the wire there. We have what three left? Yes, three left of the mini kit, this little tiny guy. And um and Debbie, so you want okay. Well, I already had you on the big list, so I just you're just gonna get both then. And if you guys, if you guys already got one of the big ones, and since we have three left, you can definitely get one a small one too if you want. But that's totally up to you. So there's three available. Thank you all so much. Okay, and Debbie I'm, would like you to give one for to Pearl and bill her of the small kits. Yep. So Debbie, are you ordering one kit only for Pearl as a gift? Or are you ordering two kits, one for each of you? <laughs> Cindy, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oh, well, and, and people subscribe to your channel. It's always fun because then when you do do anything in your channel, then you already have subscribers. Got it. Yes, Cindy, she got you. And Debbie Ham will take two, one for her and one for Pearl. That's awful kind. So now That's you so have nice. what? One kit left? Uh, two. Two kits left. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put two kits available. Okay. Or actually, last call, does anybody want another kit? Or a kit to send to somebody? Uh, keep in mind, Sierra's going to do a tutorial today that you can always reference to. She'll just keep it up and running. So whether they buy a kit or not, her tutorial will be free. Yeah. That's so if you want to give this is, to somebody, maybe somebody who's not feeling good, or maybe a teenage daughter or granddaughter. Yeah, she did get chance. one for me. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what supplies I have that I'm going to work with today. I have the the kit that we're, I'm gonna use and make make some of the dresses with. Super excited to work with this. It's gonna be so much fun. And then I also have some of Coco's amazing papers that I talked about that work perfectly for these. Um, they work really well for these. Uh, um, the dress forms, or not the dress forms, gosh, the paper doll kits, dress kits. 
because uh, like look at this I love this damask it's just so gorgeous and I'm going to show you how we just tear pieces of the paper off to make our skirts so it's so hard to tear her paper though it's so pretty right um and then you get in, you know I love how you get images on the front and back and they're different like these would be so awesome to put in a journal as well because you got double-sided so and I don't know if you can see the sheen but they have this like pearlescent sheen too oh they're gorgeous and these are in some very light pinks I don't know if you can see that but it's just so stunning and I love this damask pattern and I love how that turned out too and they're originals. Oh, look at, can you see that that sheen? Oh my There's goodness. Like a powder on there. I've been playing with the Aludine inks from um, Seth Apter, and he does not have them available even on his own website. So I finally found a new supplier on Etsy. Oh, nice. And um, it, they seem to be working. And so I will show you guys some papers at the end. Thank you, yeah. everybody. Yeah, like, oh, I just love how this, look at that. Like, it looks almost like it's embossed. It's just so pretty. So gorgeous. And I'm that is super on linen excited. paper. I, I try to use nice papers, different papers. Yeah. So um, the linen paper absorbs it differently. It kind of, like, puts everything in a soft focus. So it's real subtle, whereas the saloon papers push the ink and the distress oxides back. So it's yeah. a more pronounced design. But they're both cool. Yeah, I have a couple of the saloon papers too. And they really are so beautiful. So people are asking about your paper. Um, yeah, he's going to show at the end what yeah. he's working on currently. Yeah. And at the end of the show, she's going to show it. And I don't know if she's going to do a, a list. Um, I can do a pre-order. So she can do a pre-order list, but she'll show at the end of the sale. Her, um, She's working on some bundles that are really nice. So... And I love this construction paper too. It's such a pretty color, yeah. and I just love how they this call it like thing. a craft paper. It's real crunchy. Yeah, it is. And these papers are so nice because they, because I'll show you how we do the folding and the fanning. But it just um, you need supple papers. Like, look at this. This is on the saloon paper. Isn't that just gorgeous? Wow. So pretty. And then you even got the bag. Oh, stunning. Look at all that shininess. And then you can even see it without the shiny. But yeah, it's just really pretty. Oh, uh, thank you, Sierra. The light is really nicely picking it up. So these are the saloon papers. I just, I did love how they turned out. So I just wanted to share these because I've had these for a while. And they just have worked so nicely for the paper dolls. I just want to make sure to share them. The shimmer is gorgeous. I wonder how it would copy. I am going to have to test that off. I mean, like on the dress skirts, I wonder. How it's gonna look. Yeah. And then there's this. Yeah, I love this love design, it, too. I'm sorry. Sorry, what do you say? Oh, that last paper, the sheen on that. I love that Seth after sheen. But yeah. this, I think we're back to the distress oxides. But, you know, that particular paper, it's the pulp on it absorbs that real nice. It also gives it a soft focus. So you can see, like, the sheen even on there. There might be mica deposits on that. Yeah. Oh, you're there's losing some... me? What? Uh, Don said we're losing you, Coco. Can you hear me okay, Sierra? Oh, that 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 sound is a little bit there. Oh, Pearl, love, love to see you back. Hey, Pearl. Oh, yeah, you want to go out and come back in, or is that too big of a pain? Okay, yeah, let me do that, and then um, let me get Pearl's channel in. Okay. So yeah, 
So yeah, I'm going to use some of these. And then, so I got my kit. I got some extra papers from Coco. I also have some scrapbooking paper um, that I like to use. And this is just the really thin stuff. Both the thin and thick works. The thin works a little bit better. I have some little typed paper. Um, but yeah, mostly everything is in the kit already. Just I don't have Coco's stuff in there. Or you, you might want to bring out your own scrapbooking paper or whatever. But I'll show you what we're going to do. So we're going to have some fun. All right. So let me just move all this out of the way. And so I'm first just going to show you how to make the very, very base. Yeah, Paul, I hope you're getting settled in to your new place. Oops. Okay. So uh, this is their bundle of fabrics and lace. And then that's the little inspiration dress. And so let me see. I get all this stuff in here. So I think I'm going to grab, I'll first use one of these doily or might want a smaller one. And then I'm going to use some of this, one of these French dictionary papers. Oh, I'm also going to use one of these pieces of paper. But that secretarial book. Oh yeah, and then I also have this nice typed paper. Oh, and I don't want to forget. See, there's so many choices. You really can pick whatever you want to do or use. Music sheet paper. Okay, and I need my, I need my, um, whatever these are called. I need my templates. Okay, so I okay, won't use you. Like that. Yeah. So, okay. So first with my template, I'm gonna, I don't wanna, um, let me see if Coco is back yet. No. Okay. So, sorry, one second, of course. Okay. Here's the file folder. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out my two templates onto my file folder. Hey, Elizabeth. Sorry about the noise in the background. My daughter's taking a shower and it's really loud for some reason. Um, where's my pen? There it is. Okay, she's backstage. Add to stream. So Okay, so Sierra? I'm just gonna yes. I didn't have my volume on, but um, I don't know if you saw Joyce would like to be added to your small kit list. So you have one available now. Oh, Joyce. welcome Elizabeth, BD Bomb Bomb. I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna share your well, channel link. Sold out. Then, because I will, I'll just make the last hit. So, sold out. Okay. Thank you. Okie dokie. So, I'm first going to just using my file folder, I'm going to trace my template out here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
which you guys all know how to do that. I'm sure. I'll go find that comment, Elizabeth. It's just nice to use the templates because um, then you don't got to make your own. But you can make your own if you want to. It's very easy, simple dress form. To make your own, all you got to do is you would have to cut your own corset. And then to make the base part, you would make sure to use the corset. Um, you would use that for the top, and then you would add your skirt to it to make the base. So I'm going to okay. that video, Elizabeth. Oops. Elizabeth shared a comment. She wanted to know if you saw her comment on your last video. Who? But I do know say? something while Sierra's doing this. If you guys want to give her a thumbs up, she's got two. <laughs> we have 29 in the house. If I missed your channel, just say hello in chat and we'll share your channel. Um, sorry, what do you say about the comment? Yeah, oh, I wrote her name wrong. Elizabeth Beatty Bomb Bomb said, did you see my comment? I posted after your last live. And I tried to pull up the last live, but it's not letting me see that. So oh. anyway, I think she left you a nice comment. Um, I, Sorry. Is it, was it the thing, was it just saying that, yeah, you do want the kids? Because I... Um, I, I remember that, uh, I'm just cutting out my templates right now. Um, but yeah, I do remember that, uh, I, I haven't built everybody yet. I'm just going to be building, ugh, billing this evening. Hopefully after this show, unless something comes up, which happens a lot in my life, I get called into work or whatever, but should be within the next 48 hours. It's the very longest, so, I hope. A um, couple comments, Sierra. Elizabeth said she'd like to be added to the trinket kit. And then Lindy would like to know if there is one more mini kit available. Uh, I was just going to work on the one, let's see, um, let me recount, because I want to make sure I have enough okay. to work on one today, that's why, I just Okay, good sure. idea, so Lindy, she'll get back with you. And then... Yes, um, I can add you on for the trinket pre-order list. Those are in the works. I hope to have those done um, by the end of next weekend. If you guys didn't know, I work um, during the week, I'm, which I'm, I know a lot of us ladies do at work. So... I'm and I'm just very slow, so I try to be as fast as I can, and I'm trying to improve on that, and and also like trying to be more uh, proactive. <laughs> but, yeah, I think you're doing great, Sierra. You're awful hard on yourself. I mean, uh -huh. most of these gals know it takes a lot to curate these kits and. Sierra is still kind of in the throes of unpacking. Paula, yeah. how's it going with your move? And um, Paula said, "Give my kid to Lindy final." Oh, so I'll we'll double check. But thank you. I can't remember if Lindy got a kit. She may have gotten a small kit already, Paula. But we'll work it out. Just remind me if if we forget Paula and Lindy, please remind us. Here, I'll just write it down uh, real quick. Baby Bomb Bomb understands your plight, Sierra. She it's works and had an online shop, so she gets mm. you. Okay, so. Oh, that's great. 
Paula. Lindy got a large kit. Okay. Give her spot. So Paula and Lindy, we'll let you two duke it out. <laughs> Everybody play nice. Oh, okay. You guys let us know. Um <laughs> Yeah, I think she did get a large kit. Okay. So um, I'm just cutting out these. I probably should have done this ahead of time, but I am not very great at these uh, tutorials and especially talking and doing something at the same time. I'm trying to get better at yeah. that. I did. I should have had some, some trivia. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. You always know some fun facts, Miss Cuckoo. Well, I used to call my little baby sister the <laughs> little fountain of information. I said it snarky like that, too. But she was like <laughs> 10 years younger than me, and she'd always come up with these interesting facts. Yeah. And of course, she was just parroting something she just read, but um, yeah. she has a memory like an elephant. She can remember <laughs> dates. She can remember everything, and I just don't have that gift. Yeah. So she likes no. to kind of be bratty and, like, um, second guess you or gainsay you and say, that's not true. And she'd come out with her little facts, and we would always joke, let the fountain of information. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Um, and... And okay, so three. the small kit would be for Diane Ditzenberger. Okay. All right. Paula, thank you for being so generous and kind. Uniquely Dawn said, we get it, Sierra. Work at your own pace. And Lindy okay. said, let's do trivia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I, so I, I have my two, two, my two, um, my two cutouts. And I distress everything. So I'm using my vintage photo and I am distressing the edges of my corset part of this. And yeah, you know, um, you know how we were talking about the, oh, the, uh, we, me and Coco were talking about the dress form because I have a lot of people interested in this dress form I have that I'm putting together a big bundle with. Um, and it's so cute. And I was looking for more. And I haven't yet found anything like that. Um, so is Sierra's something. referring to the wire dress. Um, what do you call it? Dress form, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm not the paper dress kit. It's a a big wire framed bodice, basically. Yeah, and um, because I want to do a kit like that, and I was looking back at my past videos, and I actually did do a kit, um, kind of like that. It was, uh, it was like it was a. A dress form, what was it? Something, I will have to look back and find it, but it was super cute and super inspiring. I love how we can inspire ourselves with our own creations. I think that's just super awesome. Do you get so, that too when you um, revisit your videos or yeah, things like that? Like I'll, I'll be amazed at some of my older cooking videos. I'm like, how did I know how to do all that stuff? Right. I don't make that recipe anymore, but that was tasty. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's so fun. So um, I'm going to use some of my music paper to make the base of my dress. Uh, and the base of the dress that I'm trying to make right now is something along these lines, okay? And this is the base of the dress for both well actually this is the base of the dress for the fabric and lace dresses the paper ones it's more like this without the paper doily I just I mean you still could use paper doily it doesn't really matter and um this is actually one of, of the heart doilies and I'm just going to show you how you can fold those to make 
use for the bases too because they one does come in the kit so i want to show some ideas on that so how the heart doily is it's like this okay and so i just cut it down the middle and i would fold over just fold in and make a cone with one that the the bottom and then with the top i'd fold this over like that and then to finish off this look where it has the two flounces and then the one middle, I just put it over. So I have the top, I'm folding it in. So I have two double, you know, folds. And then I have the bottom, which I folded in. And so I'm just putting that on the top and then folding back two sides and then that makes my little heart the heart shaped oily underdress okay but i'm not gonna make that with this doily until i have my this part made because that way i know how big i need to do so i'm gonna use some music paper and i think um i was seeing you need to tear about three inches about three to four inches, depending on how long you want your skirt. Like you'll see this one and you'll see where I um, glue it on the back. And then you can see how the doily is glued on top of that. But, and I always mm. leave it so I can tuck things oh, in. Oh, I see what you did. Um, but so like this one, this skirt is about, it's three inches. So yeah, three inches is right. So I'm just going to take this down here and get my three inches. I mean, I don't usually look, but, and then I'm just going to tear my edge. Okay. And I don't want it to be perfectly straight. That's why I'm tearing it. So it's just kind of a fun way to do it. And that's, just, I mean, you can cut them if you want them, but all the ones that I've done, as you can see, they're all torn. Like, this is torn, see? Okay, so I tore my music paper, and now I have this, and I can use the rest of this for a gazillion more dresses. So I'm going to stick that in the back in here. And now what I'm going to do Jill is... Lucas. Welcome. I'm just going to... She says hello to you, Sierra. What? She says hello to you. Oh, hello, Jill Lucas. I'm going to just press my edges around the, um, just the edges of the paper real quick, just because I do do lots of distressing. I love the shadow look and the vintage look. I mean, this is all optional. You don't have to do that. I just like when the um, lines stand out more and stuff on the, uh, what is it called? The folds. So, I got my music paper. And again, all these pieces are in the kit that we're working with right now in the big inspiration kit. So, now I got my music paper. Now I need to make my accordion fold. And I just will go and I will accordion fold it. Just not even doing it the right way first just to get these bends in the paper so it's easier to get the skirt look i just fold it regular accordion style first so just back and forth back and forth you know the accordion folds softening um, the pulp those, yeah just to get those bends and you know it makes it easier kind of especially if you're using like thick scrapbooking paper or something super thick um, it just helps to get the actual folds you want to after that so so i just do a regular accordion style fold first now i'm wanting to make a like you can see on this I'm wanting to make this triangular look and i want it to be about you know, over four inches at the widest point. And then the smallest point, I want it to fit in here, okay? So I'm going to take my first fold. So the first fold I do is kind of like a triangular fold or diagonal fold. So I got, so I'm 
folding it like this. So, so I open it back up. So that's my first fold is I'm kind of giving it a gotcha. diagonal fold. And now I'm just going to come in and I'm going to just try to, you know, manipulate the paper Easy and the uh, yeah, and make my pleats. Yeah, but I want to kind of gather it up top more than at the bottom because I want the bottom to flare yeah. out. I don't so. know. I'm feeling a little bit of my Scottish vibe going on. Where's my kilt? Where's my bagpipe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. We, I want to hear you play your bagpipes. Oh, right. I would really blow off StreamYard. But I have to tell you, we had a neighbor, uh, Chet. His name was Chet uh, Lippincott. And um, he used to play the bagpipes. He would get dressed in his full regalia. And mm. um, he had adopted a young girl, younger than me, but he couldn't make any friends. So he asked me to come along on many outings. And oh. we got to play at a castle. And while we lived in Massachusetts, oh, they were wow. up on the turrets doing their marches and their different things. But it was so interesting, this um, bagpipe club that he was involved with so you know that I thought that was the end of my bagpipe experience after we moved back to Michigan and the yeah. little town we moved to had a giant bagpipe group and they play oh. in all the parades and they'd be invited to all these big wig affairs and of course oh, wow. you know it's nice to hear it at a funeral but yeah, yeah that was amazing yeah my family is very where I oh, was. Oh, McInerney. So. Yeah. Yes, so we always have big pipes <laughs> going um, at wow. the funerals. Uh, Looking good, Sierra. So, so my skirt, you can see, I have it all tucked together up top, and I make sure that it's going to fit the bottom of my, you know, and it, it, you know, you could put it over if you want, or I usually do it under. Um, it's totally up to you because you can always add another layered corset on top of the dress. You know, it's completely up to you. The only thing I don't like is this is kind of like a bigger pleat than all the others. So I'm going to try to fix that a little bit. We'll see if I can manipulate Here, it. Did you ever watch Gilligan's Island? Um... Uh, I, I've seen it, but it wasn't like a big watch in well, my... One of Ernie's day. favorite quotes is when they were trying to put together a rock jigsaw puzzle of a treasure map, and Thurston <laughs> Howell was telling everybody how to put a certain piece and it didn't fit. And he goes, I'm Thurston Howell the third, and I'll make it fit. So that's what you remind me of, Thurston. <laughs> Oh my Ernie's God. favorite quote. He's always saying, "I'll oh, make it fit." <laughs> <laughs> so that so looks I like good. That. I like how that looks. See how my you yeah. can see all my folds, and it kind of looks more even now. I mean, it's still a little bit bigger, yeah. but it's you know not that big. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with my distress ink again, and I'm gonna get all my edges. Nice. So that way. Um, I have all my edges and also you do need a glue gun. I mean, you could use regular glue, but if you're going to use regular glue, just FYI, you're going to need some, um, clothes pins or whatever to hold it, or you're going to have to be holding it for a few minutes while it dries. That's why I hardly ever use a glue gun, but on these dresses, I do use them because I need that just like flowers. I need that immediate hold. Okay, um, I don't have tip. time to wait for the glue to curate and whatever. Wow. Um, for the glue to get its stick. So. And I need uh, to um address something in chat real quick. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth, I'm not sure if you saw Diane's comment. She wanted to know if you are interested in. Uh, she has a small, uh, paper dress style kit that she would like to pass to you if you're interested. She's willing to pass it on to you because she wasn't sure if you got in on time because they kind of went quickly. 
So I don't know if you saw that. Oh, in Elizabeth chat. got one of the bigger ones. Oh, is that okay? I mean, she, if she wanted a smaller one too, that's fine. But she did get just so she knows. Um, okay, so Diane, um, I'll let you and Elizabeth work it out. I just didn't know if Elizabeth saw your offer. So okay, back to Sierra <laughs> doing the Highland Fling. <laughs> So I'm just going back over all my edges. And then what I'm going to do now is get it back how I wanted it or see. I'm... So I like how you on that final flip that you thought was awkward, you just went in the opposite direction with that fold. You tucked it to the rear. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. So and you so can that do that. I mean, I do it all the time. I just do whatever works and makes it look the way I want it to ultimately look. But yeah, I do go back and forth and um, yeah, so it's totally up to you. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my glue gun. I'm going to go, I'm going to actually do the back so I don't get it on my skirt. I'm just going to okay. put in little tiny bits of glue in all my little creases to get them to hold okay and i better make sure i'm putting it back together the right way because sometimes when you have all those folds you could accidentally put it back together the wrong way and yes it makes lots of glue strings which suck i hate them too but you can always pull them off and figure something out we have 28 folks in the house and 19 thumbs up. Thank you, everybody, for supporting Sears channel. Thank you so much. Okay, so that's covered then. Thank you for responding to and Paula. I have to say one of the hardest things is that emotional commitment to letting something go. And even yeah. I was telling Sierra after her move, we're still living amongst boxes. I'm still trying to figure out where the final place will be for certain utensils, pots and pans, because in our mind, we had it a certain way at the old place, and it just doesn't feel right in the new place. We don't have the same flow. So, so it's now, an emotional brain, I think, to make a commitment. It is. It's so hard. So now that I have the whole back done, you can still see that it's, you know, not done in the front. So I do do a couple in the front. I just am very careful to only put, and I just put my glue gun tip against the paper and I just really, oh no, my glue stick isn't working. Sorry. I put it against the paper and I just, if you just rub it on there, it just leaves the littlest amount of glue and then that way you won't get it everywhere and make a mess. And then also you kind of sometimes are able to avoid the strings too. I'm amazed. I'm not seeing any strings. I hate the strings. That's just you have so talent. frustrating. So I try my best not to. That was nice, Diane. Nothing. Uh, Pam Penny Pods, as I am sorting through scraps of cardstock and cleaning out a closet that has years of dress up clothes for the grandkids. Mm. Uh, a lot of good memories there, huh? I bet. So, yeah, so now I have my dress and I'm just really, you know, pressing it down. Um, you, I don't have a bone folder, but I'm just going to. Press it down with my scissor edge. Also a good tip, Sierra. You are MacGyver. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so it's really flat, and that's kind of what we want for our base. Um, I mean, it's good to have layers and poof as well. I love it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my bodice on top here, and I just make sure that... Um, it's uh, I have I make sure that it's lining up with the edges. So I just put a little bit of tiny bit of glue, a little bead. This isn't that tiny amount, <laughs> but whatever you can do. And then I just line it up 
on here and I try to make sure that the dress is straight too because I don't want to make I don't want it to be you know cockeyed because I've done that a few times and it's a pain you gotta rip it back off and then put it back on so and also with the with that hot glue it gives it almost a little like pop dot look so gives it some 3d dimensional and it didn't you stick got on some the cool one grandmas side. in the house we have <laughs> dress up closets for their kiddos to come play <laughs> what oh we have some cool grandmas in our chat oh, they're yeah. talking about a dress up closet for the kiddos oh that's that wonderful. would be fun yeah that would be so fun and um so yeah that's the the paper doll and now what i'm gonna do is the doily i'm gonna add a doily to it and so I'm what I do first is that to make the first fold I fold it uneven so I have like okay. the two layers nice right here okay and then so it's uneven so I have the two layers of like the lacy look and then what I do is I take in I just kind of fold it in half the other way and just make a little crease right in the middle like so I have that so then I can go in and what, what I'm ultimately trying to do is to fit it to the bottom of this. So I go in and then I want to kind of fold it like a cone. So you're trying to get this like little, you know, wispy, wavy look. Yeah. You can see what I'm doing. And it looks that's, voluminous. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to create that so that, that way I can um, the have more layers to tuck in fabric or whatever it might be. And then after I got that completed, and you can use any of the size doilies, whatever. Um, this one is a good size, whatever you want to do. Uh, and right now, so now I'm going to see that matches up pretty well. And I kind of like how it goes out a little bit because when I add my fabric skirts, they, you know, they kind of flow out a little bit. Um, so that's, this is perfect right here. And what I'm going to do now, you'll never guess. I'm going to just dress. <laughs> so Cindy so. observed that you had most of your folds on your kilt, I'll call it, going in the same direction rather than stop at the middle and then reverse directions. So good observation. And that's part of the charm, too. The wonky look adds movement and interest. And, of course, you could do balance and make it symmetrical, Cindy, but part of the charm is we as the viewer and I learned this you know with our art class um, in fine drawing whatever we leave out or we leave as an imperfection the viewer comes along and tries to fix it in their mind's eyes so then what happens is they're engaged now in the picture and they can't help themselves they want to fill in the blank or they see what they want to see so for example I did a light nude sketch of a woman's shoulder and down her hip line and I faded <laughs> down off her thigh and I didn't fill in much blank. And I ended up winning, winning my first student prize for a hundred dollars. But the people kept coming up and telling me one was a photographer. He goes, when I looked at it, I saw mountain ranges. And then another one had a different version. The guy thought he saw like a cityscape in the desert. So it's up to the interpretation of the viewer when we look yeah. at something. And so those wonky lines engage the, the interest. It's kind of fun psychologically. Yeah. And um, I mean, you can fold it however you want. You can do it perfect. You can do it, you know, more wonky. Like it's totally up to you what you want to do and what works best for you and your this is just my way, but I'm so excited to say, see what you guys do and yeah. your way. Um, Cause I mean, everybody's a little bit different and going to do things a little bit different. And uh, yeah, that's the fun part of it. And uh, so here I'm just kind of adding distress ink all over. And then I kind of go back on the edges and add a little bit more, um, because you do have the outside part of the, uh, 
like the backwards part of the doily is part going to be part of the skirt. And then... okay, so the you're distressing what would be the back, but now faces front. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, I'm I'm just distressing the front side of the skirt, but it it it's the back part of the doily, like the op. I don't know. <laughs> it's visible. The back part of the doily yeah. is now. I'm just, oh, yeah, I'm just facing. distressing all the visible parts. Um, okay. Just so I can get that the the you know distress looked, and of course, like maybe you want to make a more shabby chic one, oh. and that's something I'm working on and that I want to do, but. Most of mine are more, I would say, more vintage look. And so that's kind of all I do with that. And then I'm just going to put some glue in here. You have an active student in the house. Cindy is actually trying to follow along and using her kit, but she said she had to keep rewinding. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Cindy. You get a gold star. That's not easy to do. <laughs> yes. I would love to see what you make. Love, love, love it. Um, and then also, if you do think the back's going to show, you can always go over that as well. But me, I'm thinking that these would be so cute to, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make them in two paper clips, but you could add them onto front oh, of journals okay. or whatever you wanted to. Um, there's just so many different ways. So that and then that's this is the base that's all we've done so far but that once you do that then you get to do the fun part right of decorating it so i want to show you guys when i glue this down i'm just gonna put some glue right here and glue that because i don't want to glue all my folds down yet because i might want to tuck some lace up in there um, i also want to might want to tuck some lace into these um, folds right here so that's why I made those folds so I can tuck things in there if I want to to add more volume and more um, uh, just more eye candy and things to look at yeah so can and I, then can I put in a request yeah do you think you could fit in a little parade of any dresses that aren't in kits just show um, like that one that has a multiple accordion paper folds that you came up with because you didn't have doilies um do you want to show one of those because you have one that i think is just so awesome it's got like a little flip it makes it look like a flip of the skirt because you ran out of paper so you inserted a couple different little papers in the corner and it really added movement to the dress but i don't know if it's handy i just yeah, want to see a of your paper your paper dresses yeah, I can see what, sorry. Yeah, I can do that. See, I messed up, so. I'm just picking the glue off of here. Uh, these that. gals are having so much fun with their dress up opportunities. This is super. So. I don't know. Mm. I feel like this is almost a little bit too big now. I don't know why. A little see. flirty gertie. It is a little bit big, so I'm gonna. So I'm just gonna. Oops. Ah. So we are looking at the creative process unfold here. Actually, it's folding. <laughs> yeah i feel like this was a little too wide and you know what oh that might be better actually to fold it backwards because then yeah so i'm just making it a little bit not as wide because i just felt like it was a little bit too wide at the bottom oh, okay and then it was getting too long so I'm nice fix, yeah. Just doing that, and you can still see all the layers. Cause if I do yeah. that, I like that, but it's a little bit too. I don't know. I don't want to go so small. Let me just do a little bit. And see, this is my thing: is I'm constantly fiddling with stuff, and that's why I'm not so great at <laughs> doing it live. Um. Well. 
I think oh, it's wow. useful for us anyway, Sierra, because this is the creative process. You have your hits, you have your misses, and then what are the fixes, right? Yeah. It's fun either way. We can just hang out and chat. So again, I'm yeah. just going to put a little bit of glue on the tip there. I'm going to line this baby up here. Yeah. And then glue her down. Oh boy. Go into the chapel. I made a commitment. <laughs> you committed. So I, you can see I have all this right here where I can tuck things in. All right here, I can tuck things in. Right here, right here. And that's the fun part of that. So that's Welcome the base. To La La. Okay. And I will put your channel in to La La and simple and um i do like to distress my dolies over other papers and stuff because you get all these really cool designs so it makes it work for other projects so yeah um and i still have this piece i mean in the back so now i'm going to show you oh hi um doreen uh, that's Ooh, La La that. She makes amazing kits as well, ladies. Check her out. Yes, uh, Cindy, I think you've got that right. She created her kilt and then glued it to the bodice. Yeah. Uh, on the yep. on the back end. Yes, ma'am. And then I I'm going kilt. to. So there's this door or this applique in the um in the kit but i already have one cut out so oh, this is the so same pretty. one it's just a little uh tea dyed and let me show you oh no where did the piece go oh right here so you can see this piece right here i just cut out oh wow right out of there so i just cut around my pieces like that okay so it's the same thing and i'm that's what i'm doing so that's what i'm gonna use oh, that's nice so why well, I, I it's funny because i wouldn't have seen what you see in that design oh i would i wouldn't be able to like parse it out like that so that's awesome Sierra. Oh, yeah yeah it's just just uh i forget even how it and all of it's there. useful that late latticey stuff and Yep, exactly. You can use all of that stuff in, um, in see like this stuff is perfect. Like, look at these little, Ooh, uh, yeah. little scallops. These are perfect to tuck in down in between the little layers and stuff. <laughs> Those are perfect. And even these little squirrel swirls, or you can just cut pieces of the lattice. Like even this would be really cute just to wrap around the bodice like see how cute that would oh, be oh yeah um nice. and you could just cut this off if you wanted and just piece it on um yeah there's so many fun things oh, you can do with this stuff uh yeah i mean you could even gather this potentially and make a really cute little skirt too so yeah so i'm gonna use this as my bodice piece and I love how the little lumps oh, match yeah. up with the breasts and I can just fold over these pieces and it just really fits on there nicely. Um, and I like how it looks. So I got that for my top and then I think for the bottom, I want to see, I don't know for sure if I'm going to use it yet, but I'm going to see if it works. And I want to do. Oh, look at all the I have pretty. my. I love, oh, love, love. Balloons. Yes, the little. Um, Bo peep pants. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if these. Maybe the oh. pink might be a better match. We'll see. Oh, yeah, the pink looks nicer so far. So we got that. And now what I'm gonna do, so I'm using some of those ruffles out of the kit. And I'm also gonna use some of the tool. 
So I like to add volume here. So I feel so bad using one of these kits. I really do because I know that you guys want to pull that in. <laughs> it's sacrilegious. Um, <laughs> oh, but oh well. Um, so I got my tool. So you get a pretty big chunk of this, and I'm gonna just turn it sideways, and I'm gonna see. I want about probably about three inches, like a three inch strip, and I'm just gonna. Just to make it easy, I'm just going to fold it and cut it down. This is how I cut my stuff. That's why the edges are not perfect by any means. So that's the charm, right? <laughs> I don't know if it's a charm or a pain in the butt, but whatever works. But yeah, I'm just cutting the, sorry, I'm off camera, but I'm just cutting the tool, cutting a couple strips of it three inch strips. Do you enjoy the different textures as you're playing with stuff? Other oh, than yeah. the occasional snag, is it like delightful to touch, fondle, you know, manipulate the fabrics? Oh yeah. It's just like you're playing uh, like your little dressmaker or whatever. I think it's super yeah, fun. Yeah, that's true. You're like a little designer. <laughs> With permission to be wonky. <laughs> yeah. So you're making a little, you know, pretty much making a little oh, art cute. dress, right? And Diane has a comment for you. She said it's great for instruction and inspiration to see you create. So use it. <laughs> and then um, I missed uh, Charmaine said, LOL, I know, but I'm loving this, Sierra. See, your creativity come to life is amazing. Oh, it's so sweet. So sweet. Uh, yeah, so I got that. Got my tool. And then I need, I want to do some other kind of layer. I don't know. Maybe I'll use that. Oh, that was that antique petticoat, wasn't it? Um, that's this one right here. Okay. Wow. And that might I don't know. I kind of want some contrast, I think. And so many choices. How do you choose? Right. Sierra says you don't. You just make more dresses. <laughs> yep. Yep, you can just make so this is like a little crunched. I don't know. We'll see what we got here. Okay. So I got two strips of this and what, I mean, you can hot glue it, but I'm not a fan of hot glue unless I have to use it. So I'm back to my using a needle and thread oh, to gather cool. my material. So, but to each their own. I'm using this thick thread, so hopefully you guys can see. I'm just going to do a long um, running stitch on here. And I first with the tool, I just kind of bring that through and then go back to the end of the... I found your tribal name, Runs With Stitches. What? I'm coming up with a tribal name for you. Runs with uh, stitches. Runs with stitches. <laughs> <laughs> you running stitch. <laughs> yeah. How do you, isn't there like a certain sequence or something where you can find your tribal name or find your angel name or there's like oh, a they lot have of all those names. apps, yeah. Yeah, I forget. <laughs> There was one that was really funny. It's like, oh, it was find your reindeer name or something. And it was like, uh, take your favorite. I don't know. It was really funny. It was like, take your favorite toy, then add to the street you live on. I don't know. It was funny, though. But I think mine was like. Or maybe it was your favorite Christmas tree because mine was like candy cane 
something. I forget. I don't remember. I have a bad memory. <laughs> Coco is like a vice grip, though. She no, has a memory no. for years. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> really? But thank you for that vote of confidence. <laughs> I feel I like you remember everything. No, I no sooner got off the uh, chat with somebody who was placing an order. I'm like, uh, uh, what did they say? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were very patient, reminding me. I had to no. admit I forgot already. <laughs> oh, but, but like, you have so many wonderful stories of her oh. growing up and stuff. And I'm like, how do you remember that stuff? Oh my goodness, uh, I cannot remember nothing. I mean, I, think, I can remember. You know, my something. dad was a big storyteller, kind of like a Bill Cosby. Yeah, and he was, you know, often put on the spot. Hey, Jim, tell that story about. And there were people in the crowd where he worked. They would hold up their fingers, like you know, seven. Like this is the seventh time I've heard this one, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think funny. the Irish like to uh, tease and tell stories, okay. and um, it's not always <laughs> a bonus in, in certain settings, but <laughs> yeah, the gift of gab. Yeah. Oh, I think it's fun. But I know Lindy was saying, yes, let's do uh, trivia. If anybody has any trivia they want to share in mm -hmm. the Chat. If Ernie were here, we'd, we'd break out the dad jokes and riddles. Yeah. Well, when Ernie comes home, oh, we'll put him Ellie, on the spot to sing. That. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> My daughter likes to hit me for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, not take out. I know, what she just like came up behind me and whacked me on the back. Like, gosh. <laughs> With Diane's I, husband must be Irish then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does he have a wee bit of blarney in him, Diane? <laughs> <laughs> great, great accent. Well, I have to, great I have to tell accent. you while you were putting on a swatch of fabric, it went up over the arm. Actually, it was a piece of lace. It brought me to remembrance of a movie. Did you ever see Robin Hood Men in Tights? <laughs> Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Um, yeah, and like Carrie Ellis and Mel Brooks movie. We're men, we're men in tights. We roam around the forest looking for fight, fight, fights. Well, in it, there was this character named Lincoln because he was blind. <laughs> he was the swordsman and he was the servant to Robin Hood who was away in battle but returned home to find that his castle had been repoed. So anyway, mm -hmm. Lincoln's on the potty and the house is being rolled away. And oh Robin, goodness. I know it's just so farcical, but Robin mm -hmm. comes home and Lincoln hears him and he's like, oh, master, is that you? And he starts groping and he ends up coming across the marble bust of a lady without arms. That's what your oh. bodice look like. And so anyway, he starts <laughs> groping this bus and he goes, oh, Robin, you know, it's so good to have you back. Oh, but you've lost your arms in battle. <laughs> he, keeps, he keeps groping and he goes, but you grew some nice boobs. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were putting that lace up across your bodice, it reminded me of that armless statue. Oh, so <laughs> Doesn't take much. Oh to my goodness. Tickle my humor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so have fun at the recycle store, Penny. <laughs> Um, um, ooh la la, Doreen said she's driving back from the nursing home and listening. <laughs> Diane said, Coco, you're hilarious. <laughs> but yeah. It's so funny, butt shakers, some nice boobs. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this supposed to, to be watch like it. a funny, it's supposed to be like a funny remake of Robin Hood, then it sounds yeah. like. Yeah, and it was oh. so well done. And they actually have great musical singing numbers in it. It's so funny. And 
I love my musicals. sister and I. My sister and I went to see the movie, and we had where we lived, MSU, Michigan State University. Mm-hmm. Um, we had these two hulking football guys in front of us in their varsity jackets. Yeah. And I have this ability to catch humor before everybody else does. So yeah. I always have like a, a an untimely laugh or a chuckle oh. before everybody else gets it. And I started yeah. laughing out loud because Rabbi Tuckman was performing circumcisions and oh, he was sorry. having a, a discount that day. It was all <laughs> I didn't ruin it. <laughs> All circumcisions half off. <laughs> Nobody got it before I did. And I start laughing so loud. And these football players stood up and glared at my sister and I, and they moved themselves to the other <laughs> side of the theater. But it was just so funny. Nobody got all circumcisions half off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so you'll have to watch it. <laughs> It takes me a while to get some of the checks. <laughs> and my sister's like elbowing, like, shut up. And I'm like, but it was funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's yeah, funny. it's a really cute movie. That's, that's and once hilarious. you watch it, you'll start singing the songs. <laughs> yeah, they sound like they're cute little songs. You see, it sounds cute. I love um, musicals, you know. Growing up, my favorite uh, my favorite movie was Peter Pan the Musical. Oh, yeah, and I then don't think I've seen I, that one. Yeah, and then I fell in love with uh, Grease, and I fell in love with... Um, uh, Dirty Dancing, that wasn't really a musical, but oh, I yeah. love the dancing, too. Or, I, you oh, know, the, my husband makes fun of you. Pearl is outside watercolor color painting with Liam, and she oh. snuck back in to see where you are. <laughs> well, how's oh. it going? Um, Can you share your tip for those of us that don't do it, Um, what you just did with the lighter? Oh, um, I just burnt the edge of um, of this 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 uh, as you can see it unravels this. Um, oh, so you were doing the twine, thing. not the fabric. Yeah, okay. sorry. The um, this is uh, I bought this from Dawn. Actually, she is some kind of okay. vintage fiber. I thought it was crochet thread, but. Yeah, I just burn the edge of it to kind of make sure it doesn't unravel. And I was just okay. doing that because clever. Yeah, and I was trying to use this thread because it's easier to see. But I'm going to um yeah, I just I just uh took the tool, the three inch strips of tool and gathered them. And then oh. now I'm going to come and get the this piece of layered look how filmy that is i love the drapiness it's, it's i love this fabric i haven't ever made one of these with this before so i'm kind of i hope it turns you out order more so we can all have ruffled pantaloons made oh, adult size <laughs> <laughs> right There's so and those cute. be nice to instead of pajamas <laughs> oh yeah oh my so gosh Cindy brown this... saw cats three times wow what does that mean? Oh, the musical. Oh, the, the musical. The, mu- oh, the musical. And the first yes. time she was 12. Oh, uh, good for you, Cindy. I think Ernie and I have only seen... No, actually... Oh, wow. I just remembered. Um, being on MSU, we have the theater nearby. Uh, one of the gals in our church drama group knew somebody in the cast at Cats when they were playing at MSU that year. And they invited us backstage. Oh. And they took us out to a big meal. But um, the part where Jean Valjean is being chased. And what's the guy's name? The evil guy. I already forgot his name. 
But anyway, when he like throws himself off the bridge, hope I'm not doing a spoiler here. <laughs> when no, he, uh, Javert, when he throws himself off the bridge on the play, they had that specially constructed stage. Ernie, do you remember how they did that? Was the stage kind of like a tilt a whirl game? where it fell forward and spun at the same time and they flooded it with lights that to make it look like right. swirling waters of the sewer. Yeah, it sounds right. So yeah, it was fascinating and that's where we found Cosette. Yeah. The kitty we there's a little abandoned kitty cat in the parking lot. And so Ernie said we gotta take her home and we named her Cosette after the play. Oh Cosette. So and she loved Ernie. <laughs> oh, like that. Oh, we all love Ernie, huh? How can and you Ernie, we're gonna put you on the spot. Do you know where your dad jokes are in your um, trivia book? Do Is I that... know where they're at? Yeah. Um, Is that in on your bookshelf? In might, the room? might be. I thought the one was right here. Oh, do you, okay. If you see it, you go check. You but go I don't know. Sierra's got oh, lots to tell us right now. Look at that. So I just yeah. gathered. The, the top of this and it is a little bit long huh so I might cut off a layer too but if even if I cut it off it will be cute because I can always um add it into my fold or whatever so oh, gosh I love how this is looking so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I when I stopped the running stitch, so I'm going to want it to come up to about here on the waist, and then I'm going to have my little edges tucked over. So, and I'm going to, so yeah, I think I want to cut it right here. So I hope I don't ruin it by cutting it here, but we'll see how it turns out. So this will be, yeah. So I'm going to cut the last two lengths on. Okay, don't, don't worry about it. Oh. I'll find something there. All right. Well, welcome home. Well, thank you. Ernie, say hello to all the peoples. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yes, yeah, Sierra's here. doing a beautiful job here. Oh, thank you. But it's amazing. It's just the, I'm just going to show you guys the basic construction. I, um, Don't worry about it. as you can see, you know, you just are kind of finding a lace or something, gathering it, and then um, adding it on top of your dress. And you just kind of kind of fiddle with things. Um, and that's, I think, the main thing is you're just having to fiddle with stuff. So, so yeah, this, okay, yeah, I like how, and you can see the bottom, but so this, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue this. That is gorgeous. Oh. Cindy's, Cindy's like, no, don't cut it. <laughs> oh. But I, I'm, the reason I'm cutting is because I want mine shorter so I can see my bottom area. But yeah, you can do whatever you want with yours because you oh, have. That is just the most precious ruffle. All the same, I just Cindy. love these ruffles. You know, but it, at least it's being showcased, Cindy. It's not sequestered in a box on a shelf in a closet in the attic, right? <laughs> yeah, it's on display. But yeah, the whole. Um piece or whatever was cut off this i need to get some more of this stuff this roughly fabric but it's kind of expensive oh. you know i love this stuff i really do but i had to go to the special store because they used to sell it readily available at like joann's or whatever oh, really? and it just um, looks so vintage no, it's not. I mean, it's just really pretty oh. how they... I have some of this in purple, too, that I wanted wow. to um, get out. But I love this vintage pink color. Nice job so, with your gathering. Thank you. Look at her petite stitches, everybody. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm... Okay. Can I take a quick break? I got to... Yeah. I'm sorry. 
So oh no problem. Ladies, we, we're gonna take a quick um couple minute break. Sorry, yeah, I have yeah. to do something really quick. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. But nope. that way you guys can catch up if you're following along. So we have two tool ruffles and one of the big ruffles. And um, yeah, we're going to finish our dress in just a few minutes. Sorry it's taking so long. I know we've already been on for an hour and 40 minutes. But I'll be back in just a couple minutes, okay? Sounds good. All right. Everybody go right. take a potty you take, break. You take or... a break too, um, yep. Ms. I'm, Coco. I'm doing fine. Everybody okay. hydrate. Pearl, go out and finish your plein air. <laughs> yeah, Pearl, what are you painting? No one is complaining. We're learning. Beautiful has no time limit. Oh, that's DC. That could be a t-shirt for you, Charmaine. I think Sierra said something profound once, and I meant to go back and get her quote. But I think she should make a t-shirt and have some Sierra swag. It was something to the effect of, if it's not fun creating it, why bother? So something to that effect. It was pithier than that. But wouldn't that be cute to have a Sierra swag t-shirt? Shh, don't tell her I said that. <laughs> so um, what kind of things are you gals working on? And if we have any guys... What kind of projects are on your roster? I know Sierra meant to touch base with you all on some upcoming ideas she has. And, um, you know, of course, your feedback is useful so that she can, you know, start thinking about how much content to gather and if she has to order anything overseas. <laughs> Good. You make that, uh, Charmaine. Beautiful has no time limit. Isn't that perfect? Of course, will you sign it? Two shabby shoes or <laughs> Charmaine? <laughs> I'm working on the embroidery machine baby item. Ooh, to ship off this week. I'm so behind. Uh, are you at the mercy of your machine not breaking down or are you just under a regular time constraint? Busy, busy life in the way. Uh, thank you. I guess we're having a heat wave here. Ernie decided to put on a sleeveless shirt here in Michigan, but we're only supposed to get a high of 50, right, Ernie? Yeah, I think so. But you're running warm, huh? <laughs> okay, I figured I, while I was out, I would. Um... Oh, nice. We get a parade. Here comes the parade of paper dresses. Yeah, I was just going to show you how, I was just going to explain how I did each one, just so you could get more inspiration. I feel like I'm taking so long to make this one dress. I'm so sorry. Well, you've but... got comments where they're happy in chat. Okay, thank you. But, so like Look on this that. one, I gathered this lace fabric right here. So you can see the that's the ruffle. In other words, I used some scrapbooking paper and then I used a doily. Well, I used two of the smaller doilies folded. And you can see how it did kind of come out on the edges just so you can kind of see that. And then I took this lace fabric and I'm sure a lot of you ladies have this beautiful uh, lace from 
I think it's from KS for you and it's embroidered and I gathered the edge at the top I and like then I how took you did some... that. Thank you. And then I took some this is just some stretchy lace and I just wrapped it starting at the oh. shoulder, glued it back here behind okay. the shoulder, and then I wrapped it Oh, I see it up there now. around to give the folds. And then I put this little applique. I just cut these out of a piece of lace. And then I also cut some more out and just put them on there. So that's how I made that one. And this one, um, <clears throat> I took a piece of uh, lace and again, just kind of wrapped it around the skirt. And you can see I have the uh, doily down here and I had to first made the skirt with the scrapbooking paper and then I made some more ruffles with the paper and tucked them in they look like tiny books <laughs> oh <laughs> you're right they do I love how see, you this see this is the part that I'm in awe of Sierra how you can take the components you had the raw material and then fashion that see it and make it happen you're so sweet and then <laughs> I just piled on a couple more ruffles right there. And this is another little piece of an applique, a piece cut out of a lace, and layered those. And then this is another piece of Oh, I like lace. the shoulder treatment. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you how each one was made now that you've kind of seen how I do how I get the thing. Yeah, I just thought this would be more inspiring when you see uh, yeah. more of these. So again, it has the doilies at the bottom and the pleated ruffle, the paper. And then this is just a piece of fabric lace from Rosie. You guys know Rosie Posey. Oh, yeah. Um, she sells some gorgeous that. fabric lace. Nice. And I love it. Um, yeah. And I just gathered a piece of that and put that down here. And then I took a doily and... I put like the edge. I don't have one exactly like that, but I could use like this doily. One second. Um, so like this doily, for instance, I could cut off uh, a piece of it like that triangle and I could put it on here okay. and put it around the edges. And then I took another piece and folded over and did it like that. And that's how I got that to look. And I just layered a piece of lace in between and then another piece on top. So that's how I got and that anybody one. looking for doilies, hook up with Uniquely Yours, Don Marie. Yes. She's on the hunt for them. She hits the estate sales and other areas and does the lake yeah. work for you. Yes, I love doilies. I know I've been collecting them too. They're so much fun, right? They're so fun to come yeah. in with kids and stuff and bundles. And yeah, Dom Marie has some beautiful uh, ones. And then this one was actually a square doily. And so I took three layers, which I gathered the tool, three layers, and I put those down. Um, well, of course, first, of course, I did the the pleated skirt, the doily, and then I did the three layers. And then I took the square doily and I laid it on top, you know, sideways. And then I glued the edges and then I still had the corners left. So I took the corners and I put them down under here to, to add more layering. So it looks like there's more layers. I just love that look. And I took a couple of little pieces of lace or applique and put those on as the little embellishments. And then Very nice, one. Sierra. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. This one, I just took some of that tool lace. And all I did was, you can see, and I love how you can see oh, the yeah. nice. paper through here. And then I used some gold doilies. I love how oh, that Oh, yeah. And um, gathered it, and then I just and took some pieces of lace. I think Dawn had some gold doilies too. Oh yeah, oh, I, I think I think they were actually the same kind. But Aww. yeah, that's exactly 
um, the littler ones. This is actually two of the smaller I might be wrong. It might have been somebody else de-stashing, but yeah. it's gone up. She's got stuff. <laughs> yes, for sure. And, uh, um, and I answered also... each one. It's so pretty. Thank you so much. And she had, um, Dawn had said, if you see things in her previous videos and they might not have sold, you can let her know okay. if you're interested. Um, so then I just layered some more appliques down. Um, like this one again is that same beautiful fabric gathered. And then I actually took another piece of fa uh, lace and gathered it. And I just laid hey. more. Applique pieces got, and then I had this little. You got a hint of the hips that you wanted to start, right? The little what? poof on the hips. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is kind it's, of a little bit. It's getting there, thing. isn't it? So, and then it has the little cute little um, bows. I love these little bows. Uh, and this is, again, the, that same fabric. I love using this fabric in these. Yeah. And you can also, fantastic. like, cut out the little. Thank you. You can cut out the little leaves like I did with this one and kind of layer them like I did on the bodice and just the sweetest thing. Yeah, does. I love how you can see through and see those pleats in there. I'm glad you're doing this parade because this is so useful. And Elizabeth Beatty Bomb Bomb, she said they are all so beautiful. And then Paula said, Beautiful Sierra. I just love looking at them. Yeah, thank you so much. You guys are all so sweet. And um, this one is some really pretty uh, Venice lace. And I did, again, the Ooh, yeah. book page, the doilies. And then I did two layers of the pleated tulle. That looks beautiful. Think. That's the and tulle. Went, huh? Yeah, this is tulle right here. And then I went... Um, over it with this oh, pretty piece of lace yeah. and then I added another piece up top so it kind of looks like it all flows down and I actually did the lace sideways so it looks like it's kind of like she's standing sideways and she has like a um, a train type look and then yeah I just added a little flowers and bits and bobs and, and these are all in the kits for the Victorian magazine so these are all going out but I just wanted to show them again real quick um, they're going to their new home soon. They have homes. Oh, you're getting yeah. to the crunchy paper ones, but these are phenomenal. These Love are the drips of uh, yeah. white lace coming down. These are little like dangly bits. And so this is just two pieces of vintage lace gathered. One for the bottom part, <laughs> one for the top. And then I had, and this is ah. like a little peacock lace. And so I just put those in there and so they drip down and then same thing right here and then put three little flowers. Nice. And this is some just some tool wrapped around the bodice to create that um, really pretty gathered it's so look. ethereal. And Lindy's oh. like me. She wants them all. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous and, job. Well, hopefully Coco will be able to make us some yeah, I'm, I'm, she, I'm pushing, pushing, pushing our dear Sierra, and uh, hopefully we can get a little digital um, hard copies to yeah, share with everybody. So, fun. so we're working on it. Ladies. I think these are all worthy of a Dover booklet, y'all. Oh. <laughs> if, if the big wigs at Dover would notice her, uh, uh, other than having to sign off your creative rights. I yeah. think these should go to the big publishers. Wouldn't that be the cutest kit? Who wouldn't buy these, Sierra? I don't know. I well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I could do better, and you know, like we always want to, yeah, be better and do better. But this, and again, was used with that pretty lace, and this is a skinnier skirt, so you can do skinnier, okay. bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. And then I have two pieces of this other lace just stacked and then some little applique pieces. And then these, um, once I'm done making this dress, then I will um, try, we might have to do another, uh, another video because this is taking so long, but uh. this is the 
this is the same base. So I started with the top and the base, just like we did in the beginning. We did the bodice, the bodice and the paper ruffle. That was three or four inches. So it started out just like this. Nice. And instead of a doily, I took just strips of scrapbooking paper that are, you know, one to two inches, just like this right here. And I just, wow. again, would fold it, you know, just like we're folding, making little ruffles. So just like that. So you're making a little oh, ruffle. Nice. You like stress it all. Yeah, like this has really pretty gold on it. Um, and so I just added more ruffles at the bottom instead of the doilies because I didn't have doilies. And to even add on top of this look, I've put lace in between these little layers. And I'll show you. I think I got to find them real quick. But yeah, so these are those kind. And I love these ones. I, I really do, I love seriously? all of them. But they're just so much fun. I really want to add more lace on top of these. And I got so many plans and I'm working on. It's really fun. And I'm for sure those that don't know, these were born out of desperation. Sierra could not find her doilies. They're packed away safely somewhere. So she started fiddling with paper instead. So that whole adage of necessity is the mother of invention. Here, these are phenomenal. It pushed you to new creative heights. Uh -huh. And um, you're so sweet. Thank you all so much. And thank you, Coco. And so I kind. don't know if you've seen the comments. I'll read them to you when you're done. Okay. And this is, um, so this is one with just the paper. And then I went back and I ruffled, um, I gathered some lace and then I made little strips and I put them in between. And like this, I went lace tool, lace tool. So I just put those in between. You know, it's the same lace, or the same fabric-y vintage lace that I use like right on this dress. And then just regular tool. And yeah, I love how that looks. And I have Gorgeous. some more ideas that I'm working on. I'll make sure to show them and share with you guys. And then this one, um, again, I had it pieces of a gathered tool under my little pleats and then I also added, added um, some pieces of crochet doily and they're just the edging and I added those in between the layers so yeah but look you how know, dimensional this is like a crafter's dream for those of us who save every thread and scrap and piddly piece. Right. This is so This perfect. justifies it, doesn't it? Because <laughs> <laughs> you can use all those little a little pieces, bits and bobs and fun things. So just amazing. So yeah. So let I'll me finish. let me read you some okay. comments. Diane right. said yes, these should be published. Aww. Uniquely Dawn said beautiful. Diana magazine spread. Lindy K, journal covers galore. Roxy, so very pretty, Sierra. Want a gorgeousness. And then Lindy said, Somerset Studio spread for sure. And um, Cindy had some questions, but it looks like she's resolved it. And oh, welcome, Roxy. We put your channel in there. And then welcome. she said, these are so much fun. And uh, Diane said, a happy accident, Bob Ross. <laughs> I'm not sure what S A I S C means, but I think it's because you were forced to move away from doilies. This was a beautiful, happy accident to oh, turn to yeah. all those papers as a medium. Yeah, and then Cindy so. said, thank you so much for sharing your talent. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are having fun. And uh, yeah, I'll try to get this one finished. So I got my base and I got my skirt. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and put it on the back side of the skirt right in the middle. And I'm going to glue it right there, right in the middle of the. And again, this is why we need the permanent set hot glue that sets right away. It makes it easier. 
This would so, be the perfect no, gateway to get your teenage daughter, granddaughter involved in crafts. You know, everybody has scraps and lace and file folders, and you might yeah. have to invest in a glue gun and some glue. But this would be just awesome. Yeah, I think it'd be it'd be fun. I think this would also be like so cute, like Coco had mentioned before, like for a bridal shower or some kind Absolutely. of wedding shower. And you, you know, also I think it'd be so cute to like you could make like little memory dresses of like you could use yeah. your grandma's um old parts of her old wedding dress or whatever to make these and you can make them for your little Jacqueline, hand of the queen. Hi, well, Jacqueline. You know, they have those shower games. You think of the toilet paper dresses and tissue paper dresses. And yeah. wouldn't this be so much better? Because then there'd be a takeaway. Yeah, you'd be able to get home. Yeah. <laughs> that would be Jacqueline, fun. Jacqueline, I'm so... going to share your channel, dear. So I'm just good tucking around the edges. Yes, good to see you, Miss Jacqueline. I'm just tucking the edges around the side and now I'm going to so I'm going to eventually glue these sides down too but I first want to um, add on my tool ruffles just to give it more some more volume so this first tool ruffle I don't know if I need more than one I might only need one yeah I probably I think I only need the one I don't what know, a beautiful flounce. So I could, let me see if I put this right up. Maybe I should have sewn oh. them together for the first one. And again, well, you're just like a regular designer. Build on the go. Playing, just a play. A little play. So there could be two. What? Jacqueline is celebrating her 78th birthday today. Happy birthday, Jacqueline. You have got a speed. Okay, Sierra, we got to sing for. Are you ready? <sighs> Happy, birthday Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> and many more on channel four. Yeah, on channel four. <laughs> on channel two. And the big lady on channel 80. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't need both of these. <laughs> <One raffle. laughs> that was very appropriate. Channel 80 for the lady who's shady. No. <laughs> <laughs> the shady lady on channel 80. <laughs> so I'm just going to add my little ruffle here. And I'm just, again, going to put a little spot of glue right in the middle first and tack that down. And you can get those little rubber rubber finger things. I don't have any good luck with those. So, And even though it doesn't go all the way across, it's good enough. It's not... You and know. just like that, poof, there it is. It's a big poof under the dress. Yeah. And I'm poof, just there it is. My, poof, there it is. Poof. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is is Ernie sleeping yet? Yeah, I made him go to the back and <laughs> snore away. No. He's so cute. No, snore away. He, uh, he looked pretty bushed. Oh, he's tired. He worked today. But he'll okay. have tomorrow off, thankfully. Oh, good. Of course, you know, Sierra, you know how that goes. Work is actually the vacation. Coming home and being hit with a honey-do list is real work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a hard-not life. <laughs> oh, I will, Jacqueline. Oh, that's so wonderful. Happy birthday, dear. I'm so yeah. happy for you. That's Being quite a milestone, milestone, Jacqueline. Birthdays. Yes. You took the words right out of my mouth. It's a nice milestone and birthday. And you probably have a load of wisdom to share with us, yes. young whippersnappers. <laughs> <laughs> 
So now I'm just taking the edges of my skirt and just gluing them around the sides just to give it a more finished look. You don't have to do that. It's up to you, but it's just a little finishing touch you can do. Just putting well, a I bet teeny Jacqueline thing. would know this song. I meant to sing it to you last week. I'm gonna buy a paper doll to call my own. A doll that other fellows cannot steal. And when those flirty, flirty guys with their flirty, flirty eyes will have to flirt with dollies that are real. When I come home at night, she will be waiting. She'll be the truest doll in all this world. I'd rather have a paper doll to call my own than have a fickle-minded real life girl. Oh, <laughs> a fickle-minded woman. Well, he you know, doesn't man. know that one? Oh, come on. Dean Martin, Pat Boone, the Mills Brothers. All, all the folks saying that one. That was a standard. <laughs> <laughs> and Jacqueline said, you're the bestest. Oh. Okay, carry on. <laughs> oh, no, you're you're good. You're very entertaining, Miss Coco. So I'm just fiddling with my dress here, trying to get it how I want it. I don't know if I do need to add some more poof at the top, but I'm happy with it so far. It's beautiful. I like, I'm just a little bit. I don't know if I'm, I'm just going to have to fiddle with it, I guess. But, <laughs> so, I'm not, I'm not going to piddle, I'm going to fiddle. You know how many times <laughs> I hear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was the other word. I was like, what? <laughs> it rhymes with diddle. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> oh, no, dear, dear. I about no, lost it. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the whole reason I said that is because I hear people say all the time, um, on when they're crafting on crafting videos, and it just makes me crack up. They say, "I'm just gonna diddle around," and no, not, not that's diddle, not the sorry. word. <laughs> Piddle. That's not the word. Piddle. They say I'm going to piddle around. Okay. And piddle to me is like what a puppy does on the ground when you, yes. when it's I all excited. Agree. Okay. So it just is so funny to me when they say I'm just going to piddle around rather than saying Are you fiddle. Sure they're not fiddle? <laughs> Fiddling? I'm sure they're, they mean to say fiddle, but they say piddle. And it just is so funny to me. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm a dog, so. <laughs> it was funny, Sierra. Well, hey, I, I said uh, something about, oh, instead of a playlist, I said a playlist for Gene Moran's treasure video. So, uh, well, list, lust, I guess it could work. <laughs> Either way. So this is just beautiful. So flouncy. What how I mean, now I'm thinking, what if you did shortened voluminous tutus for a ballerina vid, um, journal or oh, whatever? Oh, yes. Or that would whiskey, be so cute for a ballerina journal. Petals drooping down for your fairies. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy that said, would be super cute. We'll make cute. this a PG channel. <laughs> <laughs> This um, I'm gathering this littler piece because I want to add some little um, ruffles in my bottom here. Add <laughs> some ruffles in my bottom. No, I want to add them. <laughs> you know, speaking of puns, um, while you're putting this together, I thought this is one of your more uh, well, what am I thinking of? This looks like a real dress, right? A regular dress. So in my head, I'm thinking, this is one of her more straight-laced dress. And I thought, that's kind of punny. Laced 
dress. So yeah. anyway, <laughs> it's there. It's there if you want it. <laughs> I'll be back yeah. next week, folks. Right. <laughs> I'm here all. I'm here all afternoon. <laughs> here all afternoon. Oh, you know, I think I'm gonna cut another. I don't know if I should do that. Yeah. So I this agree. is the salvage from that dress. Ooh. I yeah, the salvage edge. You should put okay. it around the neckline like an Oscar de la Renta. Oh, no. I'm like a, a little capelet. <laughs> you could do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to pop the collar. Put it in a little. <laughs> 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 there is no you... neck, but you could pop the collar. Yeah. Just off the shoulder. Just, <laughs> what is that song called? Just, just off my shoulders. Um, it's Alicia. No, that's not her name. Aaliyah. Aaliyah. What's her name? Aaliyah something or another. Um, Somebody but no, I'm going to put it in the on the on the bottom of the skirt between my ruffles. Okay. Yes. You're going to insert some more volume. Yes. Yes, ma'am. And I'm cutting this even shorter so I can do more little pieces, but I'm trying to not be take so long. Yeah, I'm definitely only going to go make one dress today. I knew I should have done more. Uh, <laughs> Well, or, um, not to volunteer more of your okay. time, but would you like to do another craft and chat soon and uh, follow up? But, you know, I do think, Sierra, just your parade of the paper dolls that you've already completed is very helpful. Gives us ideas. And then anybody watching on Rewind will have that reference, you know, the inspiration. They can borrow, freeze it, look at it, study it. Yeah, but most definitely uh, poll, poll and chat. Who would like to have another craft and chat with Sierra on the paper dolls, or do you think that her tutorial today is sufficient? Yeah, Say more let me know. if you'd like more. Or if you're good. Sierra's got some other ideas brewing, and <clears throat> excuse me, um, we really didn't talk about kind of the future of your channel and what you'd like to offer so we can discuss that another time too sierra but i did send out an email to see if anybody is interested in on on being on an email list please check your spam folder if you didn't get an email from me it's because i don't have your email address on ernie's chart i was referencing a chart he's put together so um yeah. so if you're the interested, goal of the you're email list one is you'd probably get three emails a month one for her pop-up sales the second would be for the preview sales where she bounces an idea see if there's general interest she fields questions and then she can maybe get a head count because at some point she has to order and gather the content to make the kit and at that point on um, during the pre-sales she also does allow folks to get on the waiting list and sometimes there's a discount so there's a value in that email and then the third email would be something like this when sierra's decided she's got time she can go live and she can maybe address some of your um questions on how to put together her kits so if you would like to be on an email list just shoot me a message and we'll get that out to you and we, we want to be a little more structured. We know we're loosey-goosey because that's how we roll. Sierra and I can't really make a long-term commitment. So we do these pop-ups, but that's where the problem has been happening. Folks aren't getting notified. So we think an email list would help. And if you don't want to be on a list, our feelings aren't hurt. We're just trying to help, you know, generate goodwill among all of us <laughs> not at all yeah so it's totally up okay, to you team. and 
No pressure. At I'm all. gonna put my email in chat. And again, some of you have already been emailed. I've heard back from a few. And um I think some of our emails go in spam folders. So do check, okay, you guys. Hate to see you left out. We've had so many folks disappointed. And I know it hurts Sierra to hear, you know, folks have felt left out. Yeah, I just, I feel bad. I want everybody to be happy and enjoy so their time. So they love time your crap and chat, Sierra. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me to know that because um, we want to know that you guys are enjoying it. And it's not just kind of... Uh, not I don't know boring or whatever but I hope it's not boring but thank you I, I really do value and appreciate your all in your input I appreciate it all. I'm trying to glue together right now some of these pleats so I can cut this because I wanted some smaller pieces of this um, that I can tuck oh. in my bottom uh, my oh, bottom cool. ruffle yeah so night wow that's really glued <laughs> so I hope that that's going to stay good enough okay so We're I all in the little... mind of the creative mind of Sierra here. I want to tuck in some little roughly bits into these bottom pieces. So we'll see if I'm able to do that. The weather here has been so weird. Um, it snowed again last night. I guess California is even having like blizzards, I heard, which is nuts. Yeah, I wonder how our California gals are doing. Yeah, Southern I, California I being rosy. blitzed. Isn't yeah, that blizzard. crazy to think about Southern California getting our weather? I know, it's nuts. I don't know. They don't have the so infrastructure much. for it, right? When the snow melts, is there reservoirs well, they, to really the water. Need, they really need the water so it might be a good yeah. thing but i yeah i don't know if it's also well not a not so good thing because yeah they don't have they're not are they prone to, to flooding when the rains come and well that's mostly slides. i think i don't know if that's cal i mean it might be i don't know but i know that arizona for sure is not meant for that and they're also getting snow, I heard. Uh, oh, wow. That's I mean, crazy. I don't know. It was last week. Here in I Michigan's think. getting 50 degree weather, and Ernie's wearing a sleeveless shirt. <laughs> <laughs> What's See, wrong with this Hulk picture? Hogan look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear him yelling, Stella. No. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It's from a streetcar named Desire. Marlon Brando going around in that sweaty sleeveless shirt. They call him wife beater, so it's oh, not yes, appropriate, I, I know. Sorry, anybody, if I offended anybody. Oh, no. I, I you know, people still call those those white, uh, they're like little... Um, tank tops. <laughs> tank tops, yes. They're like little yeah. tank tops. Um, my daughter, when I had mentioned that to my daughter, she's like, they really call those that? My daughter's <laughs> 17, so it's funny. And I was like, yeah, it was like a very well-known um, name for them, which is so weird. I don't know why, who did that? Well, I guess because they're saying that's a stereotypical person. It wears a... Yeah. I don't know, but how we come up with weird names and stuff like that, who knows? Sorry, I'm just trying to glue together my ruffles. No, it's nice to see your process. So you really deconstructed that laced ruffle. And yeah, um, I like I how you're parsing it into useful bits and bobs. 
Yeah, I tried this is, to. This is your magic, Sierra. Oh. Trying to make it. I'm trying to add more layers. So I don't know if you guys recognize um, the little, uh, like, what am I trying to say? Like the Victorian gowns. Like, I really look at the pictures a lot on the Victorian gowns, especially the ones like in those colored magazines, like those ones that I had from France or whatever. And I noticed that they have tons of, well, the ones that I liked particularly had tons and tons of ruffles and layers down in the skirt. And that just was really intriguing to me and um, was a really pretty style and I really liked it. So that kind of inspired me to add all of my ruffles and all my layers and all that fun stuff. So let me show you what it looks oh, like when it's, it's beautiful. See, it, I mean, you can't really see it now, but you can see, see, like, yeah, isn't that cute? Like, it is. I you just look like love gentle all that. petals. Oh, thank you. I, I just love that added, and and it adds more. To, I mean, I know this is kind of covering it a little bit, but I can see it, <laughs> so yeah. it just adds more volume and dimension and I haven't even glued those in yet but I'm going to glue those in and then also now that I'm done I need to glue the edges of the skirt down on the side and that's if I wanted to which is totally up to whoever's making the dress and then this piece I think would be perfect for the bodice um, oh, no. and, I, and again that got cut out of that applique and I could do it this piece so many different ways I could do it like this um, so it had like an apron look and I could fold these over oh, like that yeah. and this would be like almost like a little halter yeah. top so I could do it like that or I could do it um, like I just show you how it matches up with the breast uh, the okay, yeah. area and then I can fold around the sides like that um, but if I do oops petals are falling if this I do that, awesome, Sierra. This should be on those fashion design competitions. Oh, shush. <laughs> Would that be something to have? See what you know they do with in their indigenous supplies. Here's what you have available. You know, the bark of a birch tree, the feather of a peacock. You know, <laughs> but um, seriously, can you imagine? I would love to see during fiddle time. A teacher allowing the kids to design something, just give them the raw components and see what they come up with. Yeah, that's cute. That's a cute idea. And so I have to I share Diane easy. said she's in Central California and we had flooding so badly because levees couldn't hold the cars, just floated off the freeways <gasps> into fields or rivers a few months ago. Oh now we goodness. are cold and snow, which is rare. That's tough, Diane, because I know you guys, first of all, aren't used to driving in it. And you probably don't have the city infrastructure to move snow and manage snow or salt the roadways, highways, and byways. Yeah. I and it probably remember. came on pretty quickly, too. So no time yeah. to go get milk and staples. Right, that's oh, look at she's adding more. Right. This is lovely. I think I might, um, to add another layer, I don't know, but I might want to, I don't know if I need to, maybe crochet might be, because um, it's more texture. I don't know. There's just so many ideas, right? It's hard to choose. Yeah. I also have this. No, that's that is a negative. Um. Oh wow! Oh, the yeah. choice is welcome to the Sierra's candy store. She yeah, has beautiful well, confections. Well, everybody gets this. Everybody has this in their 
in their kits, thankfully, so they can do it too. That might be cute. Yeah, that's pretty. I kind of like how that brings out the tool. I love how flouncy this one is with a ruffled skirt, Diane says. Oh, thank you. I do like the end of this. I can just see oh, Scarlet yeah. O'Hara descending the steps. See, all my fingers are catching on this stuff because they got hot glue on them now. That's a pain. That's why you do not like hot glue. But I think it needs like a little bit of an apron or something. And I think that that's a good, cute that's little. Sweet, isn't it? Yeah. And then. Lucky. But it's like, oh, you hate to cut this stuff, but that's what it's for, right? Yeah. That's what you got it for. Oops. So sad. <laughs> um, um, what was I going to say? I don't know if I want to put that. Let me see. So I got that. Very sweet. I don't think, I don't know. I want to save that leaf if I can. Yeah, I'll just cut around it. So I used another piece of those appliques. And I think I'm just going to, because that brings in the tool together, because I got the tool down here, so it kind of brings it in together, I think, a little bit more. And I just need to commit and do it. You want to see how far down I want this to go. I want to be able to wrap, or that one can wrap around. Sorry, I'm just going to pull those out and put them back in. Um, <laughs> I need to bring it up closer. Sierra, I'm going to take a quick potty break. Yes, yes, sorry. I'm. Oh, no, you're fine. I'll mute my mic and I'll be right back, everybody. Okay. Thank you, Coco. So I'm just adding this um, pretty layer to it. I also need to just add my edges and glue them down and get the finishing. So I'm just gonna glue my edges down on here just cause I like how that finished look looks. And it also makes the skirt a little bit puffier too when you glue just the edges down. Um, just a little FYI. I'm also going to add a little bit more glue to this doily. And I also need to show you guys how to finish these off and make them paper clips too yeah there's just so much to show and and i'm too slow so much to show sorry i'm not looking at chat or anything i'm gonna look up in a second 
Oops, I'm going to off screen. So I'm just getting that edge right there. And then I'm also going to glue down this little. And I'm not a fan of hot glue, but I need that immediate um, tack and hold that hot glue goes. That's the one thing that I do like about hot glue is it's the immediate um, stick. You don't have to hold it and wait. And that's one thing with the fabric flowers. I always need that with my fabric flowers, the immediate uh, stick and hold. Ooh, that makes me think like doing some like a little mini rolled rose roses on these would be so cute. You know, um, this uh, ruffled fabric is so cute to make um, little... Uh, gosh, my fingers are covered in glue. Little um, flowers out of two. Um, I'm trying to remember. Juliana. Oh, I don't know her last name. But Juliana showed us how to do that. Oops, my ruffle got stuck up there. No. Okay. Luckily, it's covered up by that, so we can't see any of the thing glue. Perfect. Super cute. Now I'm just going to glue my edges of my little thinger that I made right here. The little apron. I love that little apron look. It's on a lot of my dresses. Get all those glue strings off of here. I love how that ruffled material is looking though. Super cute. I'm in Central California. Oh, no, I'm not. I love how flat it is. Yes, me too. I love how it looks. I'm back. We're not. A lot of us are talking. I hope you guys aren't getting bored. <laughs> Hey, Sierra, do you mind while well, I've changed positions real quick, if I show my papers? Yes, I was going to say we should do that. So I'm glad that you brought it up. Yes, I would love for that. Um, let me know whenever you're ready. And All right, let me, um, I'm trying to get YouTube back up on my other phone here. And I like how this is uneven. Like, I want that look. I want the unevenness. Oh, welcome back, Penny. How is recycling? Welcome back. Sierra, we are enjoying your process, Diane said. So um, I'm going to go ahead and blue. put my camera on. Okay, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready, woman. Okay, I'm going to go share Coco if I can get some of this. I'm going to pick this glue off my fingers by where. Let me go. Okay, we are on you, Miss Coco. She's going to show us some of her beautiful yeah. papers that so, she's been working on and um, and that would work really good for the paper dolls and stuff. And so what I'm going to show you is the beginning of the kits. I'm inspired like Sierra to just offer something bigger rather than the smaller kits. This will make it easier to invoice too. So what I did is I started with a manila folder that I exactly. use um, some of the alludyne inks on. So you're going to pick up mica glints of gold. Let's see if I can get that a little bit better. You see the gold glints? Yeah. So, pretty. so I've got keys on the front and damask on the back. So you can cut this up and use it however you want. And um, I'll just go through these papers with you. The kits will be $25 and this is just part of what's gonna be in them. I'm using some nice papers. This is linen, cream linen. And then this is everybody's favorite pattern that damask. So there's the design front and back. And this is the coffee alludyne. And I'm trying to go a little lighter so that the actual paper isn't competing with say somebody wants to actually write on it 
Oh, I love that. So um, that linen is so beautiful and creamy. And then um, you're going to see I've been playing with frames so that when you fold it in half, you'll Diane get kind of that. Diane love the keys. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, you'll get that awesome. worn wallpaper, kind of water-damaged wallpaper look. Ah, that hint of design. Gorgeous. So front and back. And then, you know, I got some new stencils I'm playing with and trying to perfect how they look on paper. So here's more of that washed out worn wallpaper look again on that linen. Here's so another beautiful. frame. But, you know, like if you're doing the dresses with Sierra's design, um, I wonder how some of that would look, the little flourishes and your ruffles. Right, so cute, and especially the little shine here and there too. Oh, it would just add yeah. so much that extra little dimensional glint. layer. So this was working with the honey aludine ink, and um, it does look like yummy honey. So here we're back. Everybody's favorite stencil. This time it's on that crinkle craft paper, and the dimension on this paper is larger than your standard eight by ten. You'll have plenty to shred and put on your dresses or your journals. And the nice thing about this craft paper and the linen paper is they really do receive the inks well. They absorb it and give it kind of a soft focus. So here, sometimes you'll have more than one of that because on the back of it was keys. These are what I use to make my folders. So, so back awesome. a little bit more high shine. I don't know if you're able to see the keys. Oh, I love that another... frame too. That's so Isn't pretty. It? I love I like that blurry look. Yeah. This is a little bit washed out, but when you fold it in half, you're just kind of getting a peak, you know? Yeah, exactly. And I love this is that a look. new stencil that I have. Kind of a the masky tile effect. And then you'll have like some blowout. And the blowout sometimes self distress with little mica deposit, but that one didn't look like it had the deposit. Here I was playing with keys in two different directions. So you kind of get a hint of an idea. And here's the keys. Oh, yeah, and I'm trying to really wash it out to fade it out. As I get to these bottom papers, you'll see more of that whisper effect. So much so, you, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but you just get a hint of a design. It's beautiful. I love how they look. I love how they crinkles. That sounds so yummy. This one has a pretty good frame, but I don't know if you can see it on camera. I guess you might be able to see it in relief here. So mm -hmm. is the kit going to be all like um, neutral or? I'm going to have two versions. One will have oh. color and one will be more of the monotones. Yeah. And I'll show you some of the inks I'm going to use. So you can kind yeah, of see. Yeah, no, how... take your time. I was just wondering. I'll probably introduce <laughs> some white. So here we're back to everybody's favorite, the mask. Front and back. So, so this, this is just one part of it. I'm going to add more um, different papers. I'm playing with some glassine papers oh, and parchment papers. And so um, they'll also come with fibers and I'm going to play with like a permanent stamp so you can rip off pieces of a stamp to use in your journal. So same folder only um, I have a gal who loves these swirls and Debbie Ham made a journal with them and it just looks so great. I had no idea they would look so cute in a journal. So here you've got the copper. I don't know if you can see the deposits. Oh, and wow. I, so paper. I love those. And then I have spots and swirls with the brighter pink. So this kit's gonna have the neutrals and some colors. This, this is all I have so far for color is the pink wow. and there'll be greens and blues. So this is more of the bronze. 
Oh, I love I that bronze. A, a little bit of mica powder in there, Sean. And this is a washed tan on craft. That's so and beautiful. Transitioning the inks, so there's going to be a little bit of pink on some of those. You know, you're then, so right. That does look like washed out wallpaper and oh, beautiful. Wow, thank you so much. And then you guys have seen all of these. Oh, so you're just wow. going to look like, you know, grungy wallpaper. That's so that's gorgeous. the start of those kits. And I will have eight available in each of those. And I have enough ink to um, replace what I'm about to show you. Um, somebody has put in an order for all the saloon papers that I have. So these are going to have a lot more of the mica deposit. Wow. And the saloon papers, I call them saloon papers because they remind me of wanted posters at the saloon. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that's the damask. And then because of this paper, it has a coating. It actually pushes the ink back out. So it's kind of more hard edged mica deposits and then this has a new damask in a copper pink i love that and this has the copper pink frame oh my goodness yeah so she's um taking she's going to be taking pre-orders um and so, this, this is eight pieces for $6. I have to charge more for the paper. And then um, here's your copper, the mask. So the saloon really... papers aren't in the other kit? No. Okay. No, these are separate. And then here is uh, copper music. Oh, wow. See. Yeah, you can see it. So stunning. I love that. Um, and it was so hard, you guys, to get that pink copper again. Nobody yeah, had it. So this has that Those running damask things. design. So do you want me to put in, since you're still showing this? Oh, I love it. Yeah, that. that'd be great. Yeah, well, I'll definitely put you guys on a wait list if you're interested. And you will get to see the final um, folder before you commit. So if you're just interested in seeing the final folder, and I used music sheet again because I like this striped paper and I thought that would be kind of a nice juxtaposition. So the saloon papers you're showing right now, that's eight pages for how much? Six dollars, yeah. Six dollars, okay, I'm gonna put that one in first and you can make, and we're doing, this is for pre-orders. Yeah. So you can just put in if you want the eight pages for six dollars. So these are the like. the inks I'm working with. This is honey. So this is what it looks like on the label. And then here's that pink copper, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. Copper buff, it's called. So it's highly uh, metallic wow. in its sheen. And here is gold mine. Gold mine is crazy gold. So that you probably saw at which one. Oh, the keys. The keys have quite the glint. You see that glint at all? That's so gorgeous. And then um, I'll be adding, I'm so glad I found a resource on Etsy. This so these coffee. inks are they don't make them anymore. They do make them. He just oh. introduced them and sold out and you can't get them on his website. So here's lavender. It's going to be a metallic dusky purple. Like that label. I don't know if I'm covering so, it. So um, I have a list of people for the saloon papers whenever you're ready. Okay. All right. And then this is actually um I'll just go back, Sierra, to save you time. I'm sorry. And I'll just collect okay. the names. Okay. That'll make okay, it easier. Yeah, you go back to. Just to give you an idea, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine people that want saloon papers. Okay. I have, enough inks. I have enough inks to meet the need. 
the eight and then pages this one I haven't yeah. worked with, but this will be in the color kit. So this will have kind of a metallic turquoise. So you can put the color kit in next if you want, Sierra, just so I get an idea. So that one's for the saloon papers. Now I'll do the $25 page packs. Yeah. And do paper color packs. kit. Okay. Or is that saloon colored kit or? Um, no, saloon is all monotone. Okay. Kind so, of bronze, copper. Yeah. And then, so those, the nine were all for the eight pages for $6 of the saloon yep. ones. And so yep. for the $25 packs, you have one $25 pack that will have color and one for um, monotone. Yeah. And okay, in the monotones, so I'm going to include some of this pearl. It's antique pearl. And Sierra that. showed it. It's on her, your white paper, Sierra. And I yeah. like to put it on the linen paper. I don't know if you guys can see that pearl. So these are just beautiful inks, you guys. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Yeah. And then some of the colors I'm going to introduce. I was finally able to get some purples. Tattered Rose is a popular one for the Shabby Sheikers. And this Lavender, these will be Distress Oxides I'll be playing with. And I was able to get the Dusty Concord and Shaded Lilac. So those will be included in the color kit. Um, I'll have a variety of colors, pinks, greens, blues, purples. And this one's called Victorian Velvet. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite similar. So the, do you know about how many pages are going to be in the $25? Um, I have to calculate because oh, okay. I'm also going to be using glassine paper and um, a little bit more costly papers on some of those. So they're not all, yeah. like sometimes I do a sale at 50 cents a page. And some of these are 60 cents a page, depending on the materials. Yeah. And then the saloon papers, I charge more. But if you are a bulk orderer, you get free shipping after $100. And I work with folks who want to put in a bulk order. And you're also going to get one of every of my felt fibers to play with. These are phenomenal. They look like velvet. But they're much easier to work with. You can ruche, you can crochet, you can knit. They're great for transitioning, slow stitching, I embroidery. I love these. So, I Sierra, I was wondering, you know, how you folded your flowers. If we could recreate those little tiny flowers we all fight over. <laughs> the trio, oh, yeah. I call it. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, little... I'll bet you if I sent you some of this, you could make some of those tiny little I roses. have some of it. I actually, it's in my package. I have that dusty rose color. And um, Okay, so come on, nimble I... fingers. I'm counting on you, <laughs> nimble fingers. Okay, so I'm about to put in the pre-order. fingers? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> pre-order $25 page packs with specialty papers. And I'm saying, please say if you want color or neutral. Okay. Or color. Or so A for color, B for neutral. Color or neutral. And I'll go back to you, Sierra. Okay, one second. I'll do that. Sorry, one second. It's A for color. And I've got other um designs that are coming i used mostly the mask this time around but i'm gonna introduce some other like i need to put together a steampunk version and but mostly the the, the masks everybody wants that the mask yes and so there's gonna be several pages in these um $25 bundles and what's so nice about them is they're going to have the linen paper, the, the glassine paper, all those pretty papers. And craft the paper. Craft paper. I, I like to use 34-pound bond paper. It's much stiffer, but not as stiff as cardstock. 
and these are all just pre-orders just so she can get an idea of how many to make she'll still show them so thank you guys so much um, yeah i'll get on here i'm gonna bring my pipers up Thanks for your interest to everybody. Really beautiful rose color, but I don't know if you can see better on mine, but see how it's like, oh, it's just such an amazing it's felt. It's so soft. Um, it's so soft, and it's like almost like a ribbon. And it's like, and it's like a better okay. version of Sorry Silk in my eyes. Um, but it has a little really... tooth to it, like felt wood. So it makes it so much easier to work with. It doesn't like slink out of your hands. Yeah. You know, it, it kind of stays like with friction against itself. So I would love to see you make some baby rosette. Yeah, I'm going to try to because and also can you imagine bows with this? And it's just so soft, right? It's just gorgeous. Yeah. I love this well, ribbon. And she has, don't you have a bunch of different colors? Vision. I've got lots of colors. Yep. Um, this has gone out of stock and I've tried to buy what I could. And then I just came across an her and packing another little mini stash. And I thought, mm -hmm. okay, woohoo. Because I have one gal. She, <laughs> she would like buy up all of it. <laughs> so yeah. Mm -hmm. I just I just thought I gotta um give everybody a sampler of it so you can kind of see and feel and play. And, you know, there's so many possibilities. And I would love to see what you guys do with it. Yeah, it's awesome. It really is really cool. I'm going to, I'm almost done with my dress. I just got to finish putting on. And I'm using regular glue for this. So I don't have the, because um, I'm going straight onto the cardstock. So I don't really need to use the, uh, Oh, thank you. Whatever it's called. Yes, everybody loves your paper and is excited for it. I know I'm so excited. And um, I'm really excited to show you guys some of the dresses I'm working on, some of the more paper dresses I'm working on with some of uh, Coco's beautiful papers because they're so inspiring to me, and I just love working with them. So I'm excited that she's able to make some bundles Okay, I've got a couple questions I'll answer. Yeah. Um, let's see, Cindy wants to know what was the name brand? Are you talking about the ink that I was using? If you're talking about the ink, it's called Seth after Al Udine, and I'll spell it and put it in chat. If you're not talking about that and you're talking about something else, just let me know. I think she was talking then, about the ink. Um, I call it saloon paper. You can buy that all pre-distressed. It looks like leather. And you can buy it on Amazon. Um, it reminds me of wanted posters or wanted dead or alive posters in a saloon. So I always call it saloon paper. And that helps yeah. when Ernie's helping me. I can say saloon paper so he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Penny said ribbon. Um, and I'm going to work on making some fiber packs, you guys, coming up. Um, I just need to get it all together. And Rosie's making me beautiful cards to wrap everything around. And Sierra's encouraging me to get on the ball. And I'm going to do it. And, yes, um, Penny, I sold that a while back. So if you're talking about fibers or the papers, I, yes to both. And then what does the saloon paper feel like? It has, I would call a shiny, not quite waxy feel to it, but um, it's not. It's uh, smooth. It's definitely yeah. a smoother feel. It has a coating on it because certain paints do not work with it. They lift the coating right off of it. That design you see, kind of like it's got a photograph on top of real paper. Yeah, like it, like it's like it's almost like a page of paper that's already been printed on with by like a, I don't know, like an ink. No, I don't know. But yeah, it is like an inkjet photo, a, a very thin yeah. photo. And then Wana wants some of that ribbon too. You guys, I have beautiful velvets yeah, and fibers, oh. and 
um, Jennifer Teresa Sparkle isn't here, but she has those decorated hearts. And it got me thinking, you know, when you watch somebody create, you're like, oh, I want to play. And it got me thinking about some of the things I have that could be tucked in and under the nuggets, the glimmer, the, the sparkly stuff. And that velvet would nestle so perfectly under, say, one of the jewelry pieces. So it, it's inspiring me, and Sierra's been wonderful to push me back into this, because after I had my heart episode, we had the sale, I had my heart episode, and I landed in the hospital, kind of lost my mojo just trying to get back to my studio here, but also we're having one issue after another with PayPal, and it's losing my invoices when I go to try to pay people. I'm not getting their invoices, first of all. Then I go to try to pay myself using their email. PayPal will not pull up their email. I hand type it in, and PayPal pulled up the wrong Rosie Alcala, and I sent my money, and that gal was going to keep my money. So yeah. we had to get that back through, not litigation, but PayPal's being a stinker. Anybody else having a problem with PayPal? Yeah, I would be interested in hearing if anybody was. I would, because I've had some issues with them too, like with the, uh, not like that exactly, but with like invoicing and everything. I just can't figure it out. And then also being able to look things back up on there, that's been a pain in the butt too, like being able to relook up. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. So I finished my dress. I mean, there's still lots of pretties I could add to it and, oops, and just, and I got glue all over my hands, so everything's sticking, not sticking, but catching, especially with this flouncy material, but I love how this looks, and just keep in mind that you can do this with any, any of the materials in the kit, you can get the same kind of look with just doing what I had showed. And then I just added a couple of the... Oh, pretty Sierra. I love how this... And I like how it's uneven. Like, that is kind of my yeah thought. Like, I thought it would be... You can kind of imagine her turning to her side. Or, exactly. you know, sometimes it's... I like when things aren't even, personally. But that's, sometimes... That's Picasso, other right? People might, might uh, Picasso not. introduced those odd angles. And it... it shocked the art world but it gave movement so yeah. that's exactly right and just so, to clarify cindy wants to reassure be reassured that she did get a mini dress kit so i've confirmed um, it again but i just want to let you know in case you want to confirm it too let me see um oh sorry happy ray all right, Happy Ray, I'm going to grab your channel. When we get to the end, we want to hear about all your sales and anything of interest you want to point out. I know Lindy's been doing craft and chats, and she's looking to yeah. engender community support for one another. So we love these. Everybody playing nice. Yeah, okay, so Happy I Ray. think... So Lindy, Paula Fowler gave hers to Lindy, but then Lindy, so Lindy is the one who ended up with that. Cindy Brown got one. Debbie got a couple, one for Pearl, one for her. Kim yeah. Steven, Don Mary, J Mac, um, Joyce. Yeah, so yes, Cindy, you're on the list. And... Um, yeah, so this is what my dress looks like, and I still have, I can add, like, a little, you could have, like, little flat backs, like, imagine some little flat backs, like, buttons or something. You could make, like, a little necklace. You could make little, like, arm loops with, like, ribbon. You could hang it on a hanger. That's another idea I have for future reference I'll be working oh, on. Yeah. Um, and, and I, I did glue the all the, yes, I... I'm excited. There's lots of fun things to come and not just with these dolls. I mean, I have other kids I'm working on, like I'm working on right now. Um, 
I hate to even mention it because I don't want to get someone too excited or I, you know, because I do take a little bit of time, but I'm working on a lace book kit, like a smaller, compact lace book kit, um, smaller than the big ones that I had made, but in the same kind of thing, I'm making the bases for you guys to decorate, which is going to be super fun. Um, yeah there's lots of fun things to come and uh, i'm excited and stick pins and yeah oh yeah i forget and, all um, these things you have i told her she's spinning a lot of plates anybody oh. else here flight of the bumblebee Oh my goodness. Sierra, are you hearing flights of the bumblebee in your head at night? Right? That's all it's going. Those wheels won't stop turning. They keep on turning, turning, turning. So you've got um, some comments. Uniquely Don Marie, very pretty Sierra. Cindy Brown, I love it. I got so many ideas from you today. This is great. And then oh, uh, Cindy so said, much. thank you for sharing this. And Cindy said she's more like a squirrel than flights of the bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like a hamster on a wheel, right? Constantly reaching <laughs> for something new here. Um, but I want to show you real quick how to attach this. But please um, put your sails down below while we're finishing because we're finishing oh, yes. up. I'm just going to show you. Um, real quick, how to put the, how to make it a paper clip dress like, and what I'm talking about is adding this piece and then putting the paper clip on there so you can tuck, you can clip them on your pages or okay. make it so it's like a floating bookmark or whatever you wanted to do. So, so I'm gonna, fashion go and them. function. I got it. Yes. <laughs> you like that functionality. Um, I just got uh, to right, Diane. Okay, I got my paper clip. Oh, duh. Look, at I got all these paper clips right here. I forgot about <laughs> Okay. Oh, my Look goodness. for the shiny bubble, Sierra. That's <laughs> right. Um, so all I do here is I'm going to distress the back. Of course, I like to distress. By the way, I need to go and, you know, can you buy distress ink on Amazon? Because uh, re inkers or just a new pad. Because I, you know, I, I, I've been so lucky. Um, Miss Karen Thompson gifted me two Aww. big ink pads of distress ink, and I haven't had to buy any for like a couple years. And wow. the last time I bought some, it was because uh, I only really use it when I'm doing paper stuff and. Um, the last time I bought some, it was from Joann's, and I don't live near any craft supply stores anymore because we're on wow. the boondocks here. Now, so, do you have any of the distressed crayons? No, I don't. I, I just because only I found out a cute things. trick for me because I'm very clumsy with this distressing, I find. I, I don't really hit the mark. I've been using the distressed crayons to draw a fine brush thing or the yeah i yeah. just it, i it's like it's like me giving ernie a haircut oh, the cutters aren't cutting oh bald spot oh. okay when will the plane be landing <laughs> <laughs> but but the distressed crayons can give you better execution for me at least um you just use a distressed crayon to draw the line where you want it then take a damp paintbrush a mini paintbrush oh, yeah. and stroke it then you have far more control, yeah. and I do think it saves on product. Yeah, stretches your resource. Yeah, if you're if you're using it to you know smudge it, that sounds like a great idea. So they have um, the distress crayons are in like the colors of the same colors as the ink. Um, yeah, they have all all these new flavors now. Oh, awesome! So. With wow, this, I I'm I just fold this over just slightly, and then I just, you know, give her a little puncture in the back. Just uh, so you've gotten feedback that yes, you can indeed order off Amazon. Oh, and awesome. Simon says, 
Thank you. And so I just put a little bit of a slit right there and then I take my my um, paper clip and I just feed it oh, through that nice little sleep. hole. So I'm just going to feed it through here. So, and you can do the big side or the small side, whatever side you want to do. So I have my smaller oh, side up and then if I have it right through there. Just right. like that. And then all I'm doing is I'm going to just turn my dress over. And then I'm just going to cover this bad boy. In, uh, Tricky, Diane says. <laughs> yeah, nothing super. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's very self-explanatory, I guess. Especially if you've done those hidden paper clips before. It's pretty much just like a hidden paper clip. Um, but I'm just getting glue all over this guy. And, and then I also make sure to do glue all around where the paper clip is and over the paper clip and just really get that glue on there. And, and thank you know, you for all of you folks in chat, you've kept Sierra and I company for yes, three hours. Thank you so much. We so appreciate it. Gosh, I can't believe we've been on so long. I, I I know we thought this was gonna be a short and sweet. <laughs> I'm so slow. One dress. Wow. I need to get like I need to make pre-planned out ideas, I guess, before I do this again. Well, this actually wasn't a bad maiden launch, you know, of your tutorials, right? Because yeah. this is where you factor in things that you didn't know, the variables. How can I craft and chat? I don't think I can. I can only craft or I can only chat. But, yeah, I'm not very but good you at You did really people. good. You had all your supplies at the ready. Check. Yeah, you had, uh, we made you stop and do a beautiful paper doll parade. Check, 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 check. <laughs> or we could call it a fash paper doll fashion show. There we go. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> a little paper doll fashionista show. So then I'm just going to push that down on there and voila, then he got the finished look, right? And that's it. And then it covers Aww. all the edges and it that just does look it great. Off. Wow. Really nice. And um, Diane said it takes time to create and explain. Charmaine said, yeah. I think it's wonderful. J Mac, it's fun to see your process, Sierra. Jacqueline, always gorgeous, Sierra. Lindy Thank K, you. I hope that paperclip falls into my box. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> you go, Lindy. Oh, so cute. <laughs> um, the squeaky wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh -oh. this was fun, and I like how it turned out too. I. Really want yeah. to make one with the white fabric as well. And I just think these fabrics are fun. And But you can really do this with all the different laces and fabrics in here. And yeah, the sky is the limit. As you can see, there's really so many different things to do. I cannot wait to see what you all come up with. So thank you guys so much for joining John us today. John said this has already fallen into her box. No. <laughs> Sorry, Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. And yeah. then Lindy said, Thank you for sharing, CR. Your work is amazing. Oh, you're so and sweet. Charmaine, I can always see thank you. I'll make some of these. I'm so excited. I really Jeff am. Um, thank you guys so much. We appreciate you so, so much. And I'm going to get working on your guys' invoices from the last sale and hopefully get those done. And uh, hopefully we'll be back again soon with some fun stuff. And I'm sure Coco is going to get working on your guys' orders. And, and yeah, we're excited. Email in one more time. If you would like to be on the email list and you did not get anything from me today, that means I either didn't get your address um or we're having issues with things going in the junk folder and uh so jmac please, i don't know if i have your information have you um i will look 
it over, but you said that you had emailed me before. Does it say JMAC in... Oh, thank you so much, Paula. That's so sweet, you guys. So sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with. Thank you. And imagine that on the front of a journal. I mean, on a front of like this kind of looks like, you know, Marie Antoinette to me with the ruffles. It and is stuff. beautiful. You can make a little hat to go off to the side with it or some I think it'd be really cute with some bows on the shoulders some buttons on the middle blingy little bits gorgeous so, it almost looks like, like a, a pinkish hue you know like mm -hmm. the new uh, the ruffle it's probably picking up some of the paper underneath oh it is pink the ruffle is pink. it is oh my goodness yeah it's like a vintage i thought it was color. white oh no look how nope. nice that looks yeah the white let me show you real quick especially um, against that white doily well I, I was gonna show you the where's the white ruffle at uh Paula, let's oh here it is. Actually saw. <laughs> here's the white ruffle so you can see the pink. oh yeah it's I like this see. vintage pink color. It's really yeah. pretty. I don't know when I missed that transition. So um, J-Mac would like to know if she should resend your uh, her info. Yeah, hun, could you just in, case, just in case? Just um, in case. I just don't want to miss it. So, yeah, if you don't mind, I'd really appreciate that so much. Yeah, it does. has an avocado dye look. I love this. I'll try to get some more um, stuff like this because I think these, I really would like to sh introduce you guys to some. Um, I also, another thing I really want to make is a shabby chic flower kit and bow kit. And uh, I'm excited about that. And I need all the right materials, though, to make it, though, so. And then doing making doing some tutorials with you guys would be so much fun. So, so lots of fun forward, things to come. Probably the next thing would be uh, you coming on with a pre-sale show and tell. Right? And that's where, if you guys are on the email list, you'll get notified. Uh, Lindy said, sign her up for all your kits. <laughs> So do you think um, Sierra and I are trying to figure out a little farther out, you know, what we can promise, but yeah. um, pop-ups have been working for both of us. If we're having a setback in real life, we just say, okay, we're not going on today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. That, that kind of went on for a couple weeks there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unfortunately, like we all have health issues. I yeah. mean. You know, our fam, you know, I'm still, you know, got my husband and my daughter living at home. And, well, everybody has a husband. I know that, that's a pain, <laughs> she right? She has and a new puppy. <laughs> and a puppy. And, oh, and moving. You know, things happen. And I wish I could be like, oh, I'm going to be here every single blah, yeah. blah, blah at this time. I mean, I wish I could do that. But at this time in my life, it's not able and i've also just been working a lot of extra too because you know yeah. our um our cost of living went up when we moved so you know you got to put in those extra hours and that's just how that is for everybody um so yeah i'm i'm so glad that we're able to figure this out and yes as soon as that we it's pretty much as soon as i get enough things done then Oh, we'll come on and do a sale and same with Coco when we're able to complete yeah. what we've been working on so I mean I it seems like we've been having sale at least like once a month or yeah. but it's like a pop-up where you can't ever tell you when or well where or how but um yeah that's why I think the email list would be good because that way we can give you at least a couple hours notice and and we'll try to do better. We'll do the best we can, but um appreciate you all so very much and thank you for coming to this today. And um if you feel like, you know, that you, you wanna see more of this paper doll type of thing and you feel like there's more for you to learn and you wanna learn more, um, or there's something you are super 
you have a question about, you can, you know, put it in the, the comments below or message me and I will take that into account. Like if I should do another video or whatever um, in the same kind of line. But I appreciate you all so much and I will see you all soon. And um, right. I'll get you all invoices. Go get your week, everybody. Get at it. <laughs> all right. Have a wonderful week. Hugs and love. See you all soon. Bye.